Oh yeah, Sunday fun day. Here we go. Much better Sunday than last Sunday. Cat is feeling better, Comatron. Oh yeah. It's a beautiful day in New York. It's a beautiful day to be here with all you. We got some turkin going on today. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so freaking psyched. Spongehorn is here and he is psyched up. Brother Bill in the chat. Razor XG is here. Fred Seda Lemon Amiga is ready for some Terrican. Oram, what is up, Oram? Air Yuri in the chat, in the hot tub, dancing like a madman. Dancing like a madman to some Dead Mouse in Fortnite. Love it. SR Baker, good evening to you, my man. Razor XG, cheers. Slayback is here. What is up, Slayback? Great to see you, Slayback. Slayback, thank you so much for subscription. I appreciate that so much, man. You you rock, dude. Your stickers are on the way, by the way, Slayback. They're on the way. I, I mailed out all my stickers this week. Folks are gonna be getting stickers. Folks around the world. We're spreading around the world. We're getting stickers. What's up, K Indiana? Great to see you. Oh, Pred said, I'm sorry. I forgot to send you that MP3. I'll get it. I'll get it to you. I'll get it to you. you remind me again, because I got a lot going on. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Toa Folkman. Token up in the chat. I love it. Yo, Andy Amiga7, thank you so much for the sub. You are awesome. Razor XG, thank you so much for the sub. Sigurborn, resubscribe. What's up, you crazy Amiga people? What's up, Sigor? Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that very, very much. Spinto77, it is Amiga time. You know it. Ultra Storm1977, what is up, my man? Alanson09, I'm great. Much better this week than last week. Much, much better. What's up, Torque? Great to see you. The Purple Haze Maker. You rock, Purple Haze. Mr. Linus, what's up? Slayback is psyched for the stickers. Yeah, nice dude. Nice dude. I tell you guys what. Let's take it back to 2001. 2001 was a good times, man. Good times in the Amiga community. Uh, this is going to be a, a rare... A rare one from the Black Lotus. Most people think of Eon. You know, they think of Rift. Back in 2001, it was a perfect circle. First place, Mecha and Symposium, 2001. Let's freaking yeah. go. For the next 60 seconds, this station will conduct a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test.
Oh yeah, some classic Black Lotus right there. What is up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're doing some Turkin today. Chris Halsback, what is up, my man? Great to have you in the chat, Chris. It's an honor. Uh, for those of you, I'm sure everyone knows, for those of you who don't know, Chris is the composer of the Turrican series, as well as many other classic Amiga games. It's an honor to have you here, Chris. So, I got I got a little Turrican playing in the background for you. Normally, I play I fire up the Hippo player and we play some mod files, but I figured I saw Chris show up in the chat, so I just let's fire up the Turrican right away and get the Turrican tunes going. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream, Chris. It's a, it's a pleasure and honor to have you here. Uh, Alan Son, the cat as well. Thank you so much. Yo, Anonymous Gifter. Holy crap, Anonymous Gifter. Thank you for the the, the 10 subs. That's awesome. Purple Haze Maker, what is up? Oram, oh my gosh. Thank you for your incredibly generous donation, Oram. You're, you're amazing, dude. You're excited for some Terrican? Nice. Nice. Yeah, Chris, it is, uh, it's an honor to have you here, man. Thank you so much. Oram, thank you for gifting the subs. That is too kind of you, Oram. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, Joe, uh, Jay Gray, you're psyched. Nice, dude. Nice. Thank you. Yo, Hazemaker64, thank you so much for the 200 bits. That's super, super kind of you. What's up, Dascon? Great to see you. Suspiria72, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, man, this is just awesome. Um, we got we got a level 5 hype train. That's amazing. Uh, Jost80, thank you so much for the resub. 29 months, Jost. That's, am that's incredible, dude. Incredible. Holy cow. Awesome, awesome. Great to have you. Um, yo, XBarryPL, Chesh, what is up? 48k RAM. It is awesome to have you all here. Um, wow, this is this is just awesome, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Hazemaker64, thank you for the host. It's a little bit tricky for me today because normally I've got the chat as part of my OBS, but for some reason it's not working today. I started the stream and I, my chat was broken, so I'm just looking at it on the website right now. So uh, my apologies if anything's like a little bit wacky. Choo choo choo, you know it, Purple Haze. The Retro Bench is here. What is up, Retro Bench? Thanks for all your support, buddy. You you are the best. Yo, Wreck, Wreck a BA. Thank you so much. Uh, what's up, dude? Um, you like the music, Dascon? Yeah, I mean it's classic. It's the best. It's Turrican music. It's great. You love my mixer, Spongehorn. It is a really nice one. I agree. I agree. Yo, Chris. Well, welcome. I'm, it's your first time here, Chris. But it's uh, hopefully it won't be your last. I do these streams every Sunday on Twitch, and it's incredible. Chris, I'm so lucky because I get so many incredible people from the Amiga community to show up. They're, I consider all of you like super, super great friends, and I look forward to Sunday afternoon slash evening, you know, every week. And I'm just lucky to, you know, have so many of you come here and and watch me do crazy stuff. <laughs> um, today we're gonna play some Turrican games. Yo, Dave Velociraptor, thank you so much for the resub. Uh, and Chris, since this is your first time here, uh, normally what I do is I start off my streams by saying hi to everyone because, like I said, I I know many of you in person and I know many of you from the streams, so I like to say hi to everyone and I thank everyone for all their generosity. It's just incredible. And then I do a section of Amiga News and then I play the games or sometimes I'll do an art stream. I also love to have guests on. I love to have guests, you know, I'll do a lot of stuff like when someone makes a new Amiga game, I'll have them come on the stream and show off the game and I'll interview them. If someone's doing some cool artwork, I'll have them on the stream and we'll talk about their artwork and how they did it. Uh, so Chris, if you ever... If you ever want to come on one day, it would be it'd be a pleasure to have you on. That would be really really cool. You <laughs> oh, is it? Uh, I hope I hope the mix is good. I hope the mix is good. Sponge is a great question. I don't know why it's never been remade. Phenotype A2. What is up? What is up? Turrican 2 intro was your wedding song, Fred Seda. That is that's crazy. That is crazy. What's up, Maya? Great to see you, Maya. Oh no, I, I hope your headache gets better, Maya. I'm sorry. What's up, Delamort78? Great to see you. Yo, Sean Online, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream. Oh, Rom, don't miss the stream. You know it. You know it. <laughs> Happy Turkin Day to you, Sin Lao, and thank you so much for the host. You want to you do it one day, Chris? I'm not really... I guess we could have done it today. You know what it is? I've got a really big guest on next week, and today I was hoping... I'm a little bit out of focus there. I gotta move a little closer. Um, I got a big guest on next week. Next week's show is going to be just an interview show. So I want to play some games today. And you know what's so funny? Like, I'm not... I, I don't know Turrican inside and out. I've played Turrican 1, 2, and 3. But I'm not a Turrican expert by any stretch of the imagination. And I was just feeling like... Some people are like, dude, we love how you play all the new games. But we want to see you play some more classic games as well. So I'm like, what is like one of the most classic Amiga games? I'm like, Turrican. And I'm like, why don't I just try all three? So today, I'm going to play all three. But Chris, I would love to have you on if you want to if you want to do an interview one day. It would be it'd be awesome. It'd be an awesome. The mix is good. Excellent. Excellent. Where's my water? 
Um, poetic Android. What's up, Poetic Android? So, see, normally I play uh, I play a mod and I can go like this, and then you can see like what mod is playing. But today, uh, today I'm playing I'm literally playing Turkin right off my Amiga 1200 right now. So, I want to get some Turkin music going, you know. <laughs> You know what? To be honest, guys, there's not a whole lot of Amiga news going on, and I normally just... I, this is when I normally do the Amiga news section. I'll give you guys, like, one little bit of Amiga news, and then, being that Chris is here, we'll just get, like, right into the games right away today. Maybe it'll be a little bit different. Yo, M-R-O Big Daddy B. Thank you so much for following. If you're new to the stream and you're just following me for the first time, you're showing up for the first time, welcome. I'm Bill. I stream here on Twitch once a week. Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll do more times. Maybe, I'm thinking about doing. Uh, thinking about doing maybe two a week. We'll see. But for now, I stream every Sunday, 2 p.m. New York City time, which is where I live. Uh, that's like uh, 6 p.m. UTC. And my streams are variety, Amiga variety streams. So like, I play classic games. I play new games. I do Amiga news, and I like to have guests on and interview them because I love. I love doing interviews because I'm actually a filmmaker in real life. <laughs> so I'm a documentary filmmaker. So I love. I love doing interviews with everyone. And so, this is really annoying, guys, because I can't, my, this is going to be hard today, because my OBS is a little bit messed up, I can't see the chat, I have to look at the chat on the website, so I apologize. And uh, Chris makes a great point, this is the 30th anniversary of Turrican 1 this year, so nothing better, nothing better than, you know, playing a little Turrican. Ultra Storm, this, this does rock. No, Alan San, I'm not we're not back to work yet. LA goes back to work in a week. Apparently apparently Hollywood opens up in a week. I'm still not sure what all the guidelines are, but next weekend Hollywood's opening up, but we're not open here in New York yet. Everything looks so clean, you love it? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, MRO, Big Daddy O. My, I'm a little bit further away from uh, from the camera than usual because I'm like I'm all excited, so I'm a little a little softer. I, I I shoot with a Zeiss Distagon lens at f2, so I go for the shallow depth of field look. <laughs> oh, thank you, 48k RAM. Yeah, 48k RAM is really good. Uh, it's really good. It's a great demo. Anything by the back Black Lotus is good. You know what I mean? Brother Bill, thank you for gifting the sub. That is super super cool of you. Thank you. The, the Chris Holzbeck audio on Turkin is amazing. Chris, I, I've got, um, I've got, like, I bought a bunch of your stuff on Bandcamp back in the day. I got tons of Turrican collections, and they're amazing. They're so good. This, yeah, um, Dryer Lint. I, I'm drinking some Pellegrino water right now. I'm on a cleanse. I'm on, this is my last weekend of the cleanse. And it, this stuff is great. Thank you, MRO. I appreciate that very much. I'm a little bit off right now because the chat, my chat's not working in my streaming program. I can show you guys a quick. I'll show you guys. A, I'll just do a quick. Um, there's only one. There's really only one piece of Amiga news. We had a Westchester Amiga user group meeting this week. Again, if you don't know me, um, I run the Westchester Amiga user group. We've been meeting on the first Thursday of every month since 1988. Never stopped, never will. And we had a great online meeting this week. I think I'm going to extend the online meetings, even though we're probably going to start meeting in person again in July. We'll probably continue some online meetings as well, and maybe I can get some of you to join as well. Um, so we had a WOG meeting, which was awesome. And this is the big thing that came out um, in the Amiga News for me. Let me just change this up a little bit. Do that. Perfect. Um, I'll do I'll do my little, my little Amiga News intro. Amiga News with Amiga Bill. Thank you, Dancing Wolf, for that for that amazing um, <laughs> animation. So check it out. There's a new OCS, uh, ECS Amiga game in you know it's a work in progress. It's called F Type. I've got it. Uh, I've got it ready to go if you want to play it. But being that Chris is here, we'll just get right into the Turk and maybe I'll play it later. But it looks really really sweet. Um, I'm gonna include the ADF file like in my in my weekly email for all the subscribers and Patreons. Um, but it's free to download. Uh, you can download it right from right here. Radical Design F Type. I'm gonna drop that link in the chat right now. Boom. I can't. Dude, this is crazy. Hold on a second. My streaming software is kind of broken right now. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see. Boom. It's a work in progress game, and it's uh, it looks really cool. They're working hard on it. They have temporary graphics right now, but it looks pretty sweet. I can play the, uh, I can play the video real quick. Just to 
just show, give you guys like a little, a quick little taste of what it looks like. They're they're temporary graphics right now. These are temporary graphics, but it's a good, it's a vertical shooter. It's looking pretty sweet. We can give it a go later, but we'll start with some Turrican. Yo, DW Berman, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream, DW. Not having the chat is going to be really challenging today, guys, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> also, um, if you're new to the stream, I do stream. That is actually a VHS camera that I use as my webcam. I'm, uh, I try and keep it authentic. So I've got, I've got a, a real video camera that I have for my side camera, and then I've got a VHS camera that I use for my, my webcam. Because <laughs> I'm crazy like that. So that's cool, man. F-Type looks good. We'll give it a play later. Let's, we'll start with some Turrican. Uh, it's so weird not being. It's, I've I have muscle memory, you know. I have muscle memory. I know where to look for the chat, and now it's it's not there, and it's really really hard. So let me move this over here. I'm gonna resize this window. Can I make it bigger? Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. So I can freaking read it. Sigor, you know I love me some shump. I love some shump. What I miss on the chat here? Yo, what's up, Comatron? Great to see you, my man. DJ Billy Nest in the chat. DJ Billy Nest, congrats, congrats on your on your uh, your uh, vampire there. That looks really really sweet. It's not from Dave. It's not from the Jaguar. It's it's um, I think it's an original game, but they uh, they borrowed some graphics. So maybe they borrowed some graphics. Yo, Silver Rat seventy. Thank you so much for the follow. Great to see you. Oh, K and Yan, you can teach me. You can teach me some stuff because K and Yan used to play Turrican 2 constantly as a kid and completed it several times. Even though it's been so many years, I played it through. I still remember almost every little detail. The game is perfect. The gameplay, the look, the sound, and the music. You know it, K and Yan. Now I'm I'm a Turrican noob, so you can you can help me out here. No worries, Daskon. Thanks for stopping by, my man. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to keep it authentic there. I hope you feel better, Sponge. Chris, I'm located in New York, just outside of New York City. Dryer, you know, I, I would like to learn more about Turkin, because to be honest, like in my circle of friends back in the day, um, Turkin, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like huge, you know, because I'm here in New York, so I feel like it was more popular in Europe. Of course, I knew about Turkin, but. It wasn't like a big game that we played. It could have just been my circle of friends, too. Yeah, Chris, I'm in uh, New York, New York. The only me game you, you completed around was Sword of So Damn, almost done with the mortal. I use I completed another world, which I'm gonna play. I'm gonna I'm going to uh, play soon as well. All right, let's start playing some Turrican. Like once Chris is here, Chris, I know I know um, you're probably not ready for it, but. If you want, uh, we, we should do, you know what, Chris, let's do like a proper one, like when I'm prepared for you. <laughs> we'll do a proper stream and you can come on and we'll do an interview. I can play a little Turkin along the way, um, but we'll do we'll do like a proper interview. Especially, Chris, if you have like a new album or something that you're, you want to drop, or you're dropping, you know, come on the stream anytime, you're welcome anytime, and I, I'd love to chat with you. We have a lot of mutual friends, so it'd be great to, to great have a chat with you, Chris. All right. Hey, what's up, Knee High Spy? And we are we are very lucky, everyone, to have Chris in the chat. So if you have a question for Chris, go ahead and drop in the chat. I'm sure he won't mind answering the question. Human interact. What is up, my man? Chris, I didn't know. I should have had you on today. I didn't know. I was just like I said. I've got a big guest on. It sounds like I've got a guest on next week. So next week's going to be 100% an interview stream. So I just want to rock out today with with a great game, with three great games. So that's why I fired up the Turricans. Hey, what's up, Picard 2010? All right, here we go. So, now, here's, I've, you know, to be honest, guys, I've been reluctant to stream Turrican. Today, we're going to play Turrican 1, 2, and 3, and I've been really reluctant to play these games because I know they're such classics, and so many of you know the games so well, and I don't know them that well. Like I said, I, I messed around with them back in the day, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't a big game, and I had, don't, now I appreciate it much more than... I did back then. They're, the games are they're so good. <laughs> like I was playing them to get ready for the stream, but I'm not a Turrican expert. So if some of you are gonna see it and be like, "Oh my god!" Like he doesn't know. He doesn't know like where that secret is. Like no, I don't. I have no idea. So this is almost like playing Turrican again for the first time for me. So um, 
so bear with me. <laughs> and if you if you guys want to share some hints with me, that's cool. Oh my gosh, hold on, I gotta. Sorry guys. This is just gonna be really hard for me because my chat my chat's not here. I would I would restart the stream, but I I can't. What's up, Retro Ralph? Hey Toby, nineteen seventy six. Greetings to Germany from New York. Dude, I feel tons of pressure. Be loud. Tons of pressure. You mean interact the, the Chris Halsbeck drum and bass tracks making you drive fast? Oh, be careful. <laughs> I don't know where that stock went. Turk in three is very easy. Okay, good. I, I need I need easy. Brother Bill, thank you for dropping the link to Turk in the Lemon Amiga link for Turk in the chat. What's up, Ozzy Bush? Raise the volume. I then then you can't hear me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, um... So, Turrican, this is the... Came out in 1990. Happy 30th birthday to Turrican. Chris, um, did it Do you know what time of year Turrican came out? Because I know it came out in 1990, but it, um... Oh, it's better? Thanks, thanks for... Thanks for being on the point with the mix there, guys. I mean, Turrican... I've always knew Turkin for its music, you know. So, so down on see so down on the bottom. I know we got diamonds, and after 300 diamonds, you get an extra continue. The time is counting down. Uh, all the way on the left, we've got three lives. Um, the number three next to it, I think, is the amount of times we can turn into the ball and roll. Um, then we have three bombs, and we got some. We got three um, super super shots. Now, I did see a quick play throw. And oh my god, I'm dead already. Um, I did see a quick playthrough of the game, and I, I saw that there's this rad like little loot box here up here. Oh man, I, I took a hit there. Where is it? I made it up a little higher. There he is. World of Long Plays did a great long play of this one. Oh, and I got the laser. I gotta be honest, like the laser is powerful, but the triple shot is my favorite. This is really hard. Not being able to see the chat when I look over is killing me right now. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, Chris said, Turrican 1 came out in 1990, Turrican 2 1991, and Turrican 3 in 1993. Excellent. I hope I did No, I, did I didn't do... I know there's a, there's a, something I can type in in the high score list to give me unlimited continues. I forgot what that is, though. I hope the music is all right now. Oh, Ram, you didn't play Turkin either until the EAB Super League competition? Yeah, dude, I that's so cool about the competition, how uh, it gets you to play new games. I wasn't, again, I, I didn't really play it back in the day. Oh, and Chris is the reason why you joined um, t Twitch, K Indiana. Awesome. Yo, Torque Live, thank you for the host. I've, Chris, I've been in your streams before on Twitch. I don't think you've done them recently because I've got notifications on for your streams. But your streams are great, dude. All right, here we go. There we go. The trip. I love the spread shot. That is my favorite. Uh, I forget what this what this is. Yo, Comatron, thank you so much. Yo, Chris says the mix is great. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Chris, it's so hard to to um to mix the music when I'm listening to myself. You know, it's really <laughs> it's really hard. And of course, it always depends on like what you're listening to, uh, what you're listening on as well. You know, the mix sounds different on my headphones than it does on my, um... Oh no, I got the zapper back. <laughs> I had the perfect weapon. <laughs> the mix always sounds different on my headphones versus my speakers and vice versa, but levels-wise, I think I, my um, my audio, the game audio was a little bit low at the beginning. But I think, I think we're in good shape now. Shades your first Chris Holzbeck CD and you, and you love it. Oh, so Chris, I've got a signed, I've got a signed CD that you autographed for me. My buddy Saynot got it autographed um, at one of the the shows in Germany, which which I've got to get to one day. The code was uh, Blues Mobile. All right, thank you, Suspiria. But I think you have to type it in in the high score list, right? So I need to get a high score first, if I'm not mistaken. Razor XG, thank you so much for the bits, Razor. Happy Sunday to you, Bobby Fat Gun. Great to see you, Bobby Fat Gun. 
DW Berman, you beat Turrican back in the day. It, it's a really hard game. I, I saw the long play of it, and the, the guy who plays on the long play is like amazing. And it took him a long time to beat it. I think the whole long play video is like an hour and a half. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> how do you... The guy who was playing it, like, he whipped through the game like it was nothing. Like, he was already on, like, the third level by, like, eight minutes into the video. And I was like, oh my god, he's so good. And the video is an hour and a half long. So if you're at that level, how can you play for, you know, an hour and a half? And it still takes an hour and a half to beat the game. And the other thing that's amazing, right now I'm playing this on my real Amiga 1200 using WHD load. But the other thing that's just amazing about this game is that I get one floppy disk. Can you imagine having a game of this size and like this music? A game of this size with this incredible music, all fitting on one floppy disk, playable on an Amiga 500. It's amazing. Yo, Razer XG, thank you so much for those bits again. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, the hardware oil fire. Hardware oil fire helps a lot. DJ Billiness says Turrican is one of the best games made for the Amiga and one of the most iconic tracks by Chris Holzbeck. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, Koma, you got a signed three and a half inch floppy at Amiga 34 in Germany from Chris. That is just awesome. What's up, Amiga 1200 gamer? Great to see you. Oh, no problem, Chris. Um, Twitch is a little bit different. So even if I get a copyright, you know, the, the only bummer, the only bummer, Chris, is um, here's the, I don't I don't like it, Twitch isn't like YouTube where it's monetized per view. Like the the way I get I get a little bit of cash on the Twitch. Oh, I missed it. Is when people make donations like they're doing. But if the only problem is they'll mute the audio if it's copywritten. So I don't know. Maybe um, it's I guess it's, it's possible that this whole stream will be muted. <laughs> I guess that's possible. Usually Twitch just does um they mute the track. You know if if there's some copywritten music. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not too worried about it because we're all here now. We're live and it's all about being live. You know. But I'll definitely take that into consideration when we have you on, because when we have you on, I want to—I definitely want to hear what you have to say. You have a couple of friends who do music streams and the archive streams are just silent. Well, it depends on the song too. So that you know, enjoy the stream now while it's live. I can't get it. I don't know. I don't want to go into the ball. I don't want to use the ball yet. I might need that ball. So, you guys who are Turrican experts, um, do you have a favorite Turrican? I'm sure you do. One, two, or three. No worries, Chris. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. We're here now. We're having a great time. That's that's all that matters. Don't stress about it. But I, thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that, Chris. Oh yeah, I do need to hurry a bit. Captain's on the bridge with the Amiga Suns. What is up, Captain John? <laughs> yeah, Chris. That's the funny thing. My usually my streams aren't exactly like riveting gameplay. <laughs> my streams are more casual, like hangout streams. So when I got a timer going, I usually it doesn't go well for me. Turkin two. Turrican 4, Ozzy, you're funny. You like Turrican 2, the best slimy? Yeah. Turrican 2. K and Yan would love to see Chris on my show. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely, um... I would like to, I'd like to, to prepare, you know what I mean? Prepare. I didn't realize Chris was going to show up in the chat today. But I would like to prepare so I can talk to him intelligently. <laughs> if he's going to take the time to come on the stream, I want to make sure I do it right for him, you know? Oh, <laughs> I'm definitely going to run out of time, Chris. I'm definitely going to run out of time. There we go. There we go. I'm also not the best gamer in the world, Chris. I'm not bad. Like I'm an average, average skilled gamer, I would say. This oh, I got wiped out. Do I get more time now, hopefully? Yeah, okay, cool. My time's back. This part, this part is really hard, but all these falling boulders is brutal.
I, use, I, I can put up my my ray gun and use that as a shield. See that? Go like that. Boom. No boulder's gonna hurt me. <laughs> Actually, they will. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I took a, I took a lot of damage there, guys. There we go. There we go. Boom. Boom. The laser the laser is good, like the laser is powerful. It cuts through a lot a lot of stuff. I might need the cheat codes. Yeah, exactly. Um, if there's a cheat code to get unlimited time, that would be helpful, Chris. <laughs> Turrican 4 is Haze Maker's next game after he finishes the Mario Cement. That's hilarious. Call yourself Blues Mobile in the high score. That might kill your time problem. Okay, yeah, that's Koma. I, I knew it gave you unlimited continues. I didn't know if it gave you unlimited time. Dude, and 4 would be amazing. DJ Billy Nest, I don't, I usually don't use the cheats. I usually don't, you know. I don't like to use the cheats. But for a stream, it might not be a bad idea. Exactly, I need to get a high score first. Purple Haze. Wise guy. I knew that was coming. That's a hard jump right there. I think I'll just go back this way. That's a really hard jump. I'm, I'm doomed. I'm doomed here, guys. I'm doomed. <laughs> I shouldn't have come down here. Oh, um, no worries, Captain John. No worries at all, dude. Congrats on a new job, Captain John. Yeah, 4 Ram, you don't like uh, game timers. Oh, there you love Turrican 1 on the Commodore 64. You know, I should play the 64 version. Hold on. I'll, 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 I'll get some more life here in a second. That's, that's, that's what happens when you read the chat. <laughs> there's, that, there's the good one. Nice, got me a shield. I guess the first one that comes out is the triple shot. So if I like the triple shot, I should uh, stick. I should just get it and then not get the laser. The laser cuts through his enemies like nothing, though. Yeah, congrats on your new job, Captain John. Give give my best to the Amiga Sons. I know they're watching right now. Amiga Sons, we are playing the original Turrican right now. We're also gonna play Turrican 2 and Turrican 3 as well. Yeah, I can jump on top of the walkers. I should do that, right? Let me, uh, you can squash them. Let's get them. Oh. So, how was I supposed to make the jump there? Was I just not playing it well? The way I saw the... the the way I saw the guy who was uh, doing like really good on the, the world of long plays, jump on top of him. Oh, I thought ah, I guess I missed him. <laughs> I tried to jump on top of him. Oh, in Turkin 2, you can jump on top. I think I remember jumping on top of the walkers, but maybe that wasn't Turkin 2. Let's try it again. Yeah, I, I don't think I can jump on top of him. Turkin 2 and 3, you can do it. Gotcha. You can't you can't jump on top of him in Turkin 1. Got it. Run away. Oh man, I'm getting housed. <laughs> I'm getting housed here. Where are you seeing those stats there, uh, Alexander? Yeah, yeah, K and Diana, that's a great point. In Turk and you, all the power ups are said out loud, like with a voice, so you can tell like what you got. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. Today's a little bit different of a stream. You know, like I said, normally I start with Amiga News and we just like hang out. But being that Chris joined us in the chat, I don't know how long Chris could stay. So I'm like, you know what, let me fire up Turkin right away. 
And also, there really, really wasn't that much Amiga news this week, other than that, um, the, um, that one game. Which is still, it's still an early work in progress. And we'll play it, we'll play it later. F-Type. So we'll play, uh, Turrican 1, Turrican 2, Turrican 3. Turrican, I love the intro in Turrican 3, by the way. Yeah, the timer, the timer is, is, is ruthless. I, I'm not, like, you know, I'm, when I play games, I'm very precise. Even, like, in modern-day shooters, I don't rush around. I'm not, like, I would never even think to be a speedrunner, ever. <laughs> I like to take my time, I like to plan my attack, and then execute. <laughs> MRO Big Daddy B, you rock. Thank you for being here, my man. Oh, I, I would love to learn about the TMF, the TMF tracker. TMFX. SR Baker is firing up Turrican on his brand new 1200. SR Baker, congratulations on your Amiga 1200. That's just so awesome. K Indiana, latest Amiga news. Amiga still rocks. <laughs> Good one, K Indiana. That's awesome, dude. Captain John, thank you so much for the bits, Captain John. You are amazing. Thank you, Captain. Thank you for all your support. And thanks to everyone who uh, supports me on Patreon as well. I hope you like the new wallpaper. I need to show you all the new wallpaper. The, the uh, June 2020 wallpaper is looking really, really sweet. I took a... In quarantine, I took a picture of my uh, Amiga 500 motherboard, and it, it looks... It looks tasty. It came out real good. I'm also... I also did some test prints this week. I sent some of my wallpapers out to... Oh, no to the printer to do uh, some test prints and I, to be honest I wasn't happy with the quality so I'm gonna go to the pro printer I use for like when I have a gallery show and see how they come out because I've never I have actually never printed like Amiga images on real photo paper before like you know like like the low res uh, Amiga images that I make for the wallpaper and the print quality just wasn't good and it has nothing to do with the size the, resol the resolution should hold, hold up because like on my 27 inch monitor, the um, the image looks incredible. It looks so good. But then when I printed it out, it just looked, it, it looked bad in print. And I don't want to give you guys a bad product, you know? Dave, um, Patreon, it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll take it anyway, but Patreon I get would be better. Uh, because Twitch takes 50% craziness. Yo, Vince CNIV80. Thank you, Vince. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Today we are playing Turrican games. I just, I never really played much of the Turrican games, and uh, some of the folks were messaging me during the week, and they're like, dude, we, we love the streams, but we haven't seen you play like a good classic game in a while. So I was like, all right, what's classic? I'm like, Turrican's classic. Turrican's classic, and I don't know it well. So let me play some Turrican, and then once I'm at it, I'll play Turrican 2 and 3 as well. Oh, I'm stuck. I, like, I love this little tower here. I can take refuge under the tower. You like the new wallpaper, Captain John? Thanks, dude. Uh, hey, what's up, Banana Man? What's the best way to emulate Amiga on a modern PC? That is a great question. There are three systems that I use. I use... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I start thinking. I start thinking, and, and I really get wiped out. Um, there's one called Amiga Forever, which is great for uh, people who are new to Amiga and not used to emulating it, it's the easiest way to do it. And it's also the way that you get the ROMs legally wiped out. <laughs> so I highly recommend Amiga Forever if you're new to it. I got I got it. This is a, a physical copy of it. You get the ROMs legally that way, and it's a really nice package. You get some uh, bonus material on the DVD if you get the physical edition. They have three different levels of uh, that you could purchase, and it's a really easy way to get started. And then once you have the ROMs, you can go with um, two different emulators that I use. One is called FSUAE emulator, and the other one is called WinUAE. WinUAE is probably the most powerful Amiga emulator, and like, but it's also the least user friendly. So it's great, like once you know Amiga and you're familiar with it, WinUAE is just awesome. 
But when you're first starting out, some people can get a little intimidated by the Win UAE. The Amiga Forever is the most friendly for, for new folks. So I'm not sure what your, your level of Amiga experience is, but um, starting with, you won't, starting with, um, I, need, I really need to upgrade this gun. <laughs> starting with Amiga Forever is not a bad spot to start. And like I said, you get the, the ROMs legally. I'll never beat this guy with, with this. Wiped out. I guess I'm in Colorado with all these boulders. Hilarious. Human Interact likes the FSUE the best. I love I love FSUE as well. I love it. But I still I still think Amiga Forever is the easiest if you're just starting out. Amiga Live is a good way to go too, yeah. Slammy says for Linux, FSUE is the way to go. Oh yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure if Amiga Forever works on uh, on FSUE. Amiga Forever is when you eat. Yeah, you're 100% right, Chris. Um, Amiga Forever is a front end for uh, for when you AE. It's but it makes it a lot. It's already like pre-configured, so a lot of folks when they come to like the the vintage computer shows that I exhibit at, they all um, if they're new to Amiga, I recommend the Amiga Forever because it's the easiest. It's just already set up and ready to go. But Chris is exactly right. Amiga Forever is a front end for when you AE. Totally right. Not gonna get the laser this time. There we go. I'm gonna go with the triple shot. Hey, what's up, Professor Napkin? Is three is OS three one four worth getting for your A twelve hundred? So far, I, I have it on mine, Professor Napkin, and I like it. I think it's good. the The main thing that I I'm enjoying doing with it is uh, I like the the larger partition size. You can do that with three one as well. It's just cool to have it ready to go. I also like the um. I like the glow icons that came with it. Oh, Captain John, I can you can press space when in trouble with the enemies, or you can hit the second button. I should do that. Yeah, exactly, Chris. Uh, Amiga Forever is just it's easier with the startup uh, user interface. Agreed, agreed. Have you ever tried the Amiga game base? Oh, Snow Dog, what's up, Snow Dog? I think you might be a different Snow Dog. I have, I've have. It's really good. You're absolutely right. That is good. That's true, and fs 2 doesn't offer the option. Oh, it does offer the option to create compact flash hard drives. That's really, really cool. What's up, Ash? Great to see you, Ash. Hope all is well, Ash. Candyana loves the laser. Hilarious. The ra you know, I'm starting to like the, ra the laser better. I'm great, Ash. I hope you're well, Ash. Are you going to stream, Ash? I'll raid you later if you're streaming. Yeah, the RP9s from Amiga Forever are cool. RP9s are kind of like zip files, and it contains the, uh, the Amiga disk file as well as uh, a config file. So it's just, all I have to do is double click on the RP9 file, like in your in your Windows Finder, and you're good to go. It's really, really cool. Exactly, Chris, that's exactly what I was saying, Chris. The Amiga Forever is great to start with, because first of all, if you're new to Amiga, it's all pre-configured, but then you get all the ROMs. So then if you want to use FSUAE, or you want to branch out and just use, you know, WinUAE on its own, you already have the ROMs legally. Now, if, let's just say, let's say you, for some reason you don't want Amiga Forever, a really inexpensive way to get the ROMs legally is to go on to the Android uh, or, or Google Play. I guess you can get it on Google Play, but I got it through my. Uh, yeah, you can get it on Google Play. You can download the, I, I think the um, the Amiga 500 and 1200 ROMs for I think it's like a dollar or two dollars. So you'll have the 500 and the 1200, and you'll that's kind of mostly what you need. That's also a very inexpensive way to do it. But I definitely recommend Amiga Forever. For, for new folks. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Console and Docs TV. What is up? Greetings from New York. Do you make documentaries? I make documentaries too, that's why I'm asking. I see Docs TV. You use Amiga Forever ROMs with your Mr. Slayback? Nice, dude. Amiga Forever Essentials, that's the one, that's what it is, Razor XG. Anthony and I even made a video about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chris, I think you're right. <laughs> I do I do need another, another level skip cheat. I, I'm gonna need it, for sure. <laughs> Slayback, so is there other levels, question <laughs> mark? At this rate, Chris, there's no way I'm, there's no way I'm gonna beat this level. <laughs> 
I agree, Chris. You're right. <laughs> I'm not going to deny that. Chris, you'll learn you'll learn uh, pretty quick that my streams are not about riveting gameplay. <laughs> it doesn't take long in my stream to, to know that. I, I love the games. But my, you know, I to be honest, I used to use my Amiga more for, and still do, for art. Amiga is what helped me get into the video business. So I, I really enjoyed the games, but I wasn't, and I'm still not like a big gamer. I pretty much only play games, like, on Sundays when I stream. <laughs> I mean, I, I love games, don't get me wrong, but, um, like, Virtualverse. I picked up Virtualverse, which I love, and I've, I haven't played it since I streamed it. Man. Ugh. Am I back at the beginning? Okay, no. All right, let's get this punk. Oh, is he gone? I remember there was, um, up here, right? There's a, a power-up. This little, this little pea shooter is tough. The thing that's really, one of, a lot of things are hard about this game, but one of the things that's extremely hard is when you die, you lose like all the good guns. Yeah, I do need to play the trainer version. I, I still, even though I'm not great at the games, like I prefer not to cheat. Because eventually I get good at them, you know what I mean? But for purposes of the stream, I'm okay, I'm okay with it. Come on, give me a power up, please. Rats. I was hoping it would give me a little extra power up. That guy's tough. He just bazooked me. I, I didn't. I didn't defend very well. I just kind of stood there and blasted him, and he blasted me more. <laughs> Uh, Captain John, you are too kind. Captain John says, Streams of Amiga Bill are so much fun, I don't care how he plays, but that he plays. Great dude, great entertainment. Captain John, you're the best. You are the best, my man. Although, I'm pretty good at Marvel Madness. There's a couple games I'm good at. Oh, yeah. See, that makes a lot of sense, Chris. Chris used to be able to play through the games during development because he knew, you know, every little aspect of them, every hidden treasure. But nowadays, uh, he, he would totally suck. That's the thing too, that's also why I don't necessarily like to cheat, because I feel like, like if I'm going to invest in the game, I like to learn it, you know? And once you, that's part of the fun, is like learning all the little bonuses, learning where all the enemies are. I need that power up bad. Boom! Boom! I did it! Did it! Woo! You guys, you guys doubted me, didn't you? Don't doubt the Amiga Bill. Now you get to hear a new song too. The other thing about my streams is my streams are really like I love Chris. Like my my claim, not my claim to fame, but you know the thing I do best, in my opinion, is like bring people together. That's why, you know, I run the Westchester Amiga user group. That's why it's been running since, like, 1980-whatever. We th we were something else in 87, but we started in 1988. And I'm good at, like, bringing people together. Like, I know... Like, I'm not an expert in any part of Amiga. Like, I'm not an expert... Even though I do, like, graphics and stuff, I am still don't consider myself an expert. So, like, I'm good at, like, bringing people together. So I know, like, if this person is good at this, I can bring them over here and do this. If this person knows this game well, I can introduce them to this person. So I feel like that's... What I like bringing people together is uh, my my strongest point. Definitely, gameplay is not my strongest suit. Oh yeah, I should. That's right. I should. Uh, oh, I missed the trick. Thanks, Dave. What I miss? S R Baker. I want to see that. I want to see that picture really bad. See, that's what I love. I love when, like, when folks come on the stream and they're like, "Dude, you inspired me to pick up Turrican, and now I'm playing it on my my brand new 1200, and I'm sending you a picture." I love that. I love it. I love it. Yo, Baltoth, what is up? New level, so exciting. Yeah, listen to the music, guys.
Uh, Marquise. No, you know, I'm literally just taking the output of the Amiga and putting it right into my mixer. But I could, I thought about mix, uh, messing with the pan a little bit, and I, I'm not messing with the pan right now. Phenotype of the music, Baltoth, Baltoth, I love, I love the boing balls there. <laughs> Alright, there's a few things I'm an expert in, Human Interact. I'm very lucky that my show is performing very well right now. That's what that's what I've been doing. I, normally, I would play this game more and get a little more prepared for it, but I gotta strike the iron while it's hot. Who interacts? I've been uh, cutting scenes from the Epstein documentary because things are gonna get things are gonna really heat up for it. I'm, I'm already getting like calls. It's pretty rad. Unfortunately, we can't work yet, <laughs> which is very frustrating. But it's. That documentary is going to open up a lot of doors for me, so I'm, I'm super stoked about it. Yo, BearPaws3342, welcome to the stream. We're playing we're playing Turrican 1 right now. Oh my god, look at all those lasers. I'm going to stick with the triple shot. And we're going to play Turrican 2 next, and then we're going to play Turrican 3. And we're we're blessed because, I mean, let's be honest. When, the first thing I think of when I think of Turrican is the music. I'm not going to lie. And we have the, the composer to the music for all the Turrican games in the chat with us right now. I hope he's enjoying the stream. And Chris... If you want, uh, Chris, I know you've done like tons and tons of game music. I mean, if you want to drop in the chat, just list a couple of the games, other games that you've done the music for. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to see it. I don't. I don't. Or just put the number of games. It's probably something like 50, right? <laughs> the sounds all good. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. You like the lasers of Spear 72? I'll use the stereo expander for headphones. I'll have to check that out, Marquisor. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, see, five card draw. I never really played Turrican on the Amiga back in the day either. Which sounds crazy. Yo, Andy PKX, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You're on speakers? It's, it is amazing how different things sound on speakers versus headphones. I've got two different pairs of headphones. These are like, this is like the HyperX. And it's fun for gaming, but the bass is really colored. Um, for my regular listening, I've got a pair of Sennheiser HD 650 headphones, and I plug them into this vacuum tube amplifier that I've got, which I love. Do you think it's worth taking a risk to get those diamonds? I love I love how diamonds are such a part of Amiga games. <laughs> Even the new game Worthy, which I love, like it's all about getting diamonds, getting diamonds for your lady. Well, she's not your lady yet. <laughs> Getting diamonds for the lady. If you get enough diamonds, then she becomes your lady. <laughs> for speakers, do you like the hard cut between the channels? Yeah, I guess because you're further away, so you get more of a mix. Oh, Prentice says for him there's four Turkins. The fourth one's Super Turkin for the SNES. I've never, I never even played Super Turkin on the SNES. Prentice, it sounds cool. A pity is amazing soundtrack, hey, Indiana. The music matches this game just right. That, Dave Velasco after that's a great that's a great question Chris if you want to come on the stream on the sooner side it would be awesome to have you next week I've already got someone slotted in for next week but maybe the week after but once we once we uh, jump on the uh, once we're in the Turrican mood oh, man oh good I got an extra life here beautiful nice I, I love your little cookie monster there Yo, what's up, Chris Wicked? Great to see you. Exactly, speakers, the sound from speakers is different because uh, the way it hits your ears, it's not just like directly into one ear. It bounces, it uses the room acoustics. Exactly, human oh my god. I was getting all excited. Oh, if I push the alt button, I can get through that? Oh, Ultra Storm, I missed it, thank you. Yeah, J. Gray, Amiga Forever Essentials on Android legally includes the rounds for just two bucks. Exactly, J. Gray, exactly. Razor, Razor was just playing some hard and heavy. Razor, I've never played hard and heavy. I've never played it. Your little Instagram video is my first introduction to hard and heavy. So alt, um, you know what? Let's let's experiment. So like, if I hit the second button, because I'm playing with the two button joystick, I'm playing with my monster joystick. It does the explosion. Boom, and that wipes everyone out. What happens if I hit alt? Alt. Someone said to hit alt. You're always in a Turrican mood, nice. Wow, so 
Uh, Chris Holzbeck has got a Bandcamp and a Patreon, and he creates uh, totally royalty-free music on every month. That is awesome, Chris. There's his link, so definitely go support Chris. I mean, when you support Chris, you get a lot of value for your money. I didn't know you gave out royalty-free music. I didn't even realize that, Chris. Yo, what's up, lady? Thank you for the raid, lady. I I, I don't know how to, I get I forgot how to pronounce your last name <laughs> since last week. <laughs> but lady, thank you for the raid. Uh, today we are playing Turrican One, Turrican Two, and Turrican Three on the Commodore Amiga, and we're super lucky we've got the composer to all three games in the chat. His name is Chris Hulsbeck. He's uh, a legend in the uh, retro gaming community. He's made incredible, incredible soundtracks for so many games. I don't even know how many soundtracks he made for classic games. He still makes music today, and he's a really nice guy and super talented. We need a Chris Halsbeck command. Yeah, totally. Yo, Rex. Rex a decimal. Thank you so much for the follow. What's up, Apple II community? I had an Apple II back in the day. I had a 2E. My dad got through his school. And uh, like I was saying last week, I loved playing Karataka on the Apple II and Load Runner. I also loved a game called um, Chivalry, which was really cool because uh, Chivalry came with, it was a board game that you played along with on the computer. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll take an extra guy. The lightning strikes are getting scary. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go get that. I'm just throwing caution into the wind. Sometimes, like, if I can't see where I'm jumping, I just jump. Just jump, baby. Just jump. Is this going to shoot at me? How do I get up there? Can I sneak through there? No. How the heck do I get up there? Yo, there's uh, Brother Bill drops Chris's Bandcamp and Patreon into the chat. Thank you, Brother Bill. You were a Tandy Kid, Rexadecimal? Nice. I mean, I started out as an Atari 800 kid, and then it was a like, Commodore 64, and I had my Commodore 64 and my Apple II like, simultaneously. Like, my dad bought me the 64, and then the Apple II, like I said, uh, was through the school. And then I went on to Amiga. Walker, I agree. The music made this game even better. It's so funny, because I've listened to hours and hours of the soundtracks that I bought from Chris. I've listened to this, the music more than I've played the game. <laughs> Yo, Jay Gray, thank you for the bits, dude. I appreciate that very, very much. Rexadecimal, I can never type. I can't type. I can't really talk too well. Hey, what's up? What's up, Mad Pete? Great to see you. Yes, he is He is in the house, rule of thirds. Chris recently made a brand new Turkin inspired soundtrack with his old tools recorded on a real Amiga. It's called Rise of the Machine. You'll find it on my band's camp. Oh, dude, Chris, that is amazing. I bet it sounds so good. I'm doing great, Rexadecimal. Thanks, dude. I, f I feel like I'm not playing great, but I'm doing the best I can. I just don't. I don't know what to do here, guys. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Do I need to like change into the ball? That's my guess. See, I don't. I don't know how to get. This. I feel lame. <laughs> I feel lame. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Kansas Fester? And well, I mean, you'll hear lots of different opinions, but I think I think Amiga did have the best music. But of course, Commodore 64 had the SID chip, which is also a classic. Um, but I'll let Chris. Chris can answer that question much better than I can. I'm just a I'm just, I was just a kid who like enjoyed listening to the music. Bend it like back up, nice. I have to jump around the corner. It's so hard. The music for Jim Power is epic. Yeah, exactly. Purple Haze. I know Purple Haze likes the Commodore 64 version best. I know that. I know that, Chris. I mean, Purple Haze. You like the 64 soundtrack best, Marquisor? Yeah, I mean, the SID chip is, is incredible. Banana Jump It. Oh, you used to go to Computer Clamp? Uh, Rexadecimal? Nice, dude. 
I never went to a computer champ, uh, camp. Uh, that was a bad timing there. Let's see, I'll let him shoot, and then I go. Up. Fred Seda Lemon Amiga, I'm all bummed out because I forgot to post my screenshot from the spy who loved me. <laughs> I realized that this morning I woke up and I was like, oh my god, I played the game last week and I never posted my screenshot, so I guess I'm DQ'd from this week's competition. Oh, your kid went to computer camp and got to play with the old school greats. Got it, Rexadecimal. That's really cool. You know, I, um... I, I exhibit at Vintage Computer Festival East every year at my buddy Anthony, and we love... That's the main purpose of like what I do with Amiga is to try to keep it alive and introduce it to the next generation because we're not going to be around forever, you know what I mean? Because the next generation's got to carry the torch for us. If the kids aren't into it, then that's that's not a good thing. <laughs> we need we need the kids, you know what I mean? Uh-oh. Yo, Acela68, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream. If you're new to the stream, you're just following. I'm Bill, I stream Amiga stuff here once a week on Twitch. I stream every Sunday afternoon, evening. I'm in New York, so I stream at 2 p.m. New York City time. And uh, I play games, I do creative streams, I do Amiga news. But my favorite part is just hanging out because I get some of the most incredible people in the Amiga community to come hang out and I'm like the luckiest guy on the planet. All of you are friends. Oh gosh. <laughs> and I really come here just to hang out with my friends every week, to be honest with you. I also do uh, interviews. I love to play new Amiga games and interview the creators of the games. I like to interview creators of the classic games. Uh, next week's stream is... I have to double check with him to make sure he's coming on next week. But we're, I think we're going to have a legend on next week as well. I'm gonna be. It's just going to be an interview stream. He's not a game creator. <laughs> he's not a game creator. Uh, but I'll probably... By Wednesday, I think I'll be able to confirm the stream. And I want to open it up to questions as well, because I'm sure a lot of you are going to have questions for him. And he's been, uh, let's put it this way, he, he's he's no stranger to the Guru Meditation. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a really fun one. Half circle jump, yep. Yeah. Oh, you love the Amiga OS uh, UE on the screen, Rex Decimal. Thank you. I was thinking about messing around with my design a little bit. I always like to. I'm a. I love design, and you know, I love art, so that's what I do. So I might mix up. I might change up the design a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, this one's working pretty well. That's that's hilarious. Human interact. Oh, uh, Purple Haze, I was putting words in Purple Haze's mouth. He said the Amiga version is, is better because uh, you can hear the music on all the levels, but the Commodore 64 is still the original version. Right on, Purple Haze. Right on, Purple Haze. I was just messing. You know, I was joking with you, man. <laughs> you scored third in the Spy Who Loved Me? Nice, dude. I know the time's right. I wish there was a pause button, Chris. Sorry, Rex the Decimal, I kinda I missed the train of thought there. Lady, you're working on a blog entry about that very question, what do we do for the next generation? Oh lady, I would I would love to see I followed you on Twitch, um, but I I would love to see your blog. You love it, Mad Pete, you've live streamed on Twitch, Turk and one and two. Nice. Oh you, um YouTube, got it. The smart bomb? Uh Amiga Sons are here for Amiga's future. Exactly, Captain John. We're on Turk and one right now, Surface 79. We're gonna play him in order. JC Mitch, you have no idea they're still in the Amiga community. You haven't checked for 27 years. JC, the Amiga community is incredible and it's stronger now. I think it. I mean, I. You could you could make the argument that the Amiga community now is stronger than ever. Um, I mean, it's a tough one to say because obviously you know Amiga isn't uh, made anymore. <laughs> but I, I I I could definitely make that argument. The, let's put it this way: regardless of whether they're stronger than it's ever been, it's extremely strong. Extremely strong. There are new games being made all the time. Like, every week I'm playing a new game. Some are like AAA, some are more like uh, fan games. 
but there's some new AAA games being made, and the internet brings us all together. Uh, back back in the day, it was the the user group was my only you know, pretty much my only interaction with other Amiga users. Um, but now that we have the internet, man, it's connected me to Amiga users around the world, literally, like the ones that are here in chat right now. And us, like I said, oh no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Should I go down here or keep going up? Let's see. I'll go down. What the heck? I guess I should have went up. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little behind on the chat. You're very happy to rediscover it. Well, you're in the right place, JC Mitch. And the Amiga community is so supportive and so nice. It's I, Again, the reason why I stream is because these streams are I hang out with my friends every week. Have I tried P for pause? <laughs> Razor XG with the P for pause. Razor, my man. Bonus points for Razor. The blog is linked on your Twitch page. All right, I'll check it out, lady. Awesome. Oh, if you notice, the T-shirt I'm wearing right now is uh, from Vintage Computer Festival East, and it's one of my it's one of my favorite shirts. Uh, the reason why I'm showing it is because it was made. It's a it's a dude. It's a dude. It's like the dude hanging out with the Altair 880, just chilling out. He's got his five. He's got his five and a quarter inch floppy there. That's the that's the building where we meet for VCF East. I'm, I just wanted to show it because I'm, it was made by uh, my buddy Dan Roganti, who sadly uh, you know passed away a couple years ago. He was uh, a staple Oops. of the Vintage Computer Festival, and I like to wear his shirts. And he used to do all the logos for like, each year. Like the logo for that festival was his. And so this is this one's from a long time ago. This is like 10 years old now. Yeah, new games are still being made, JC. The software development community is awesome. I agree. The new, some of the new games are amazing. Amazing. I've got a whole shelf of brand new Amiga games up there. <laughs> it is way easier to get information nowadays. You're right. You can argue that the hobby is getting stronger. I agree, brother Bell. Yeah, the new boards are amazing. I agreed. This is a this is the, yeah, lady. This is this is a Turrican. It's an all-time classic for the Amiga and Commodore 64. Um, it's on other platforms as well, but I only know it from Amiga N64, and uh, Chris Hulsbeck, the gentleman who made the music for it, is in the chat with us, and the music for this game is also iconic. This is one of the games where like the gameplay is fantastic, the graphics are great, and the music is... I wouldn't even say the music is fantastic, it's iconic. <laughs> it's historical. <laughs> it's so good. Like I can just put on this game and listen to the music, it's amazing. Um, Kansas Fester, Amiga was not marketed well by Commodore, they didn't show off its features. Kansas Fester... Be sure to come into my stream next week if all goes as planned. That's a good point, Purple Haze. Good point. Game Too Late, your Amiga networking back in the days was just called school. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Game Too Late, unfortunately, I was like the only kid in my grammar school had Amiga, and in high school there was one other kid that had Amiga. That was it. JC, you had a 1200 back in the day, sold it 27 years ago. It's, it's never a better time to get back into it. DJ Billy Ness, do you like the shirt? It's awesome, right? Yeah, everyone does regret it, exactly. I, I you know, I have a, I got a Wi-Fi card for my Amiga. The, the Wi-Fi 232, it emulates a modem, it's freaking rad. What's up, Fisher? Great to see you, Fisher. Gabora, this is legendary, right? Rex, you liked it? Nice. Hey, what's up, Hark? Great to see you, Hark. Rule Third says, if this isn't the most loved soundtrack on Amiga, I don't know what is. I agree. It was iconic before PCs even had icons. You know it, Fred Zeta. Bitstorm used to put on games just to listen to the music, but worry about CRT burn. Just put it on and turn off the CRT. I, I feel you, Bitstorm. I totally feel you. Commodore and Amiga had a marketing team. I think Sony hired them for the PlayStation Vita. <laughs> PlayStation. Ah, uh, Sponge, you're hilarious. Retro off. I wish we went to high school together, too. Although, I gotta say... My buddy, my buddy who I went to high school with, he did Amiga proper. He also had a public access show, which is kind of like, you had to do that. That was like YouTube before YouTube. And he used the Amiga for all the graphics on his public access show. And it was, they were fantastic. Fantastic. That was like heyday for Amiga for me. Like me and John, we were, Jonathan, we would just go like hang out in his public access TV studio. We'd make cool shows and, you know, do cool stuff with the Amiga. It was awesome. What's up, Hark? In the 80s, it's possible to find other people on a computer. Yeah, totally human interactive. It's definitely much less than it is. Um, 
Chris Halsback, the composer for the Turrican series as well as many other classic games, says he thinks it's amazing the game and the music still have fans after all these years. With the help of many fans, we were even able to re-record the music with a live symphonic orchestra. Chris, that's I have that one. I've got I've got that one. That is incredible. It is beautiful. And Chris, you know what to me what that means is like when you make something that's good, whether it's like a game that has great gameplay or you make music that is great, it stands the test of time. You know, when when it stands the test of time, you know you've created something good. And a lot of these Amiga games, even though by today's standards, I mean by today's standards, some of them have great graphics, but you know what I mean. Like a lot of these retro games, the, the games today just look look incredible. Yes, a lot. So many of these classic games are still fun to play because they're great games. They have great design and they're great games. You don't need when something is just designed well and plays well, it stands the test of time. And it once it's good back then and still still good now. You know. That's a good question, Chris. If you could want to drop a link to your orchestral version in the chat, go for it. What's up, Jiro? Great to see you. time is it I love that's the cool thing about my uh, my VHS cam I can I know what time it is <laughs> fun fact about the VHS camera you can't turn off the on-screen display same thing with my uh, mini DV camera but it, it doesn't record it it can record it if you want to but when you take the video out live it's always got the display on uh oh can I make that jump there we go the mechanics, this game is super smooth, and the, and the like the game mechanics are just awesome. Here we go. I love this triple blaster. Alright, what do I, should I do here? Okay, I'm going to bump my head on that. I'm going to fall down there. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to let this guy come up. And Chris, like you were saying before, oh no, that's where I got wiped out before. The great thing about some of these old games too, or any game, is the more you play it, the more you learn it, and then you learn and memorize the levels, and that's how you get good at it. It's not just the muscle... Um, it's not just like your hand-eye coordination, you know? Yeah, so Chris just dropped the link to the, uh, the orchestral version of, of Turrican in the chat. You know what? Let's see if I can do this. What? While Chris is here, let's just give him a little plug. Check this out, guys. This is Bandcamp. Here's Chris's Bandcamp. Chris has got a band camp and he's got a Patreon. Look at all these awesome selections that he's got. I think I bought your digital discography years ago, Chris. I have to show you what I've got, but I definitely haven't um, purchased the the newer stuff, which I need to do. I got my I got my birthday next week. I now I'll put on my birthday list. <laughs> so there's Chris's band camp. He's got tons of stuff. Let's see. Um, how can I see all all of the music? There it is. Wow! Look at look at this look at this portfolio, Chris. This is incredible, dude. Um, can someone drop Chris's Patreon in the chat too? I'll go I'll go uh, check it out. To be on top, Chris. This is the one I have. The, I have this one autographed by you. Say not got it autographed. I don't have it handy because it's in my car. I still have a CD player in my car, and I've got it in my car. It's a really good one. Chris, this is an incredible body of work, dude. Incredible. But you're in Arizona? Hmm, I didn't know that. Cool. Now, let me see if I can find the freaking chat. It's so hard. My, uh, sorry guys, my, my software, my streaming software is kind of bugged out right now. So I can't, I have to open up a separate window for it. There's the Patreon. Thanks, Brother Bill. You rock. With practice, anyone can finish the games. Yeah, it really takes, it does take practice and learning. You have to learn the game, which is cool. Um, let's go full screen here. Here's Chris's Patreon. Chris is creating new music royalty free. That is so cool, Chris. I need to, uh, I need to get some of that royalty free music. Oh, neat. And there's one of his streams. His Patreon introduction. How long is that? You know what? Let's just play the video. Sorry for the pause in the gameplay. I just want to, once Chris is here, I want to, I want to give him a little bump, you know? I like the logo a lot.
Hi everyone, I would like to invite you to a new adventure that I want to explore, creating new music with your direct support. Now you're probably wondering, am I not creating new music all the time anyway? You're right, but usually new music is tied to specific game projects, and there's pros and cons with that. Basically, once I create music for a game, you might not even hear it until months or years later, after the game is released or there's a soundtrack album. And in between projects, my time is usually occupied with acquiring new work and unfortunately my mind is not free to just create cool music and have a creative journey. And this is where Patreon can be the answer. This site is perfect for creators like me and fans like you. All you need to do is pledge to send me a small amount of money for every music piece that I finish and deliver to you. It could be a remix, a brand new piece of music or anything crazy that you might think of. Because if enough of you pledge, it will literally buy me time that I can use to create something very special. I want this to be an adventure and sound both for you, the fans and me. And it's also about going back a little bit to the roots of how excited I felt about the music creation process when I started my career. It's all about recapturing the vibe of the early days while also exploring new sounds. And you can be part of the process. Up on the page there's a backer or patron exclusive news feed where I can share the progress and give you insights into the creation of the music pieces. And you can give feedback, suggestions and send requests. I also plan to record or even stream some of my studio sessions live, so you can be right there when I come up with that memorable melody or bass line. Look at this short example recording that I did. Okay, so here's an example of the first piece that I'm working on for this experiment. Yo Razor XG, thank you for the biddies. You rock dude. Sorry, I was covering Chris's uh mouse cam. recorded a little melody here. Dude, that was crazy, Chris. I loved it. Um, which still needs a little bit of refinement, but I'm gonna get there. Nice job, Chris. And what you just heard, by the way, will also be one of the first pieces that I want to finish and release through Patreon. So come join me and be part of this community and see where this exciting musical journey will take us. Sorry, I didn't mean to cover up your URL there. Dude, awesome, Chris. Awesome. Sorry, I'm uh, behind on the chat now. <laughs> Great, dude. I'm gonna. I'll become a patron, Chris. That's freaking sweet. That is sweet. I need some royalty-free music too. I need to. Let me uh try and get, find the chat. <laughs> I gotta find the chat. Sorry, my my uh like I said, my stream's not working right today. My streaming software. Mad Pete is a patron for Chris. Nice, Mad Pete. Nice one, dude. I hope you guys enjoy that. Patreon's become a significant progress for you. Awesome, Chris. I, you know, Chris, I just started, sorry for the sidetrack here, I just started a Patreon as well too because I'm a filmmaker and I'm a cinematographer and on March 12th was my last day of work because of the coronavirus and I've been out of work since then. Fortunately, I think we're coming back soon. I think LA opens up next week, which is huge. 
So um, I did one too. It's like a little little side hustle. <laughs> so Patreon's really really cool. It's great for artists like us. It's really really great. The real Tony rocks. What is up, Hark? Thank you for the hundred bits. Dan Pollocker, what's up, Dan? Great to see you, Dan. Thank you so much. It's awesome to see you guys, dude. Dan, thank you for the sub, dude. Yo, everyone should go follow Dan as well. Dan is uh, also a great musician. Dan is a professional musician and an artist just like me who's been unemployed. <laughs> he also he also um, is one of the main people behind the Retro Games Festival in Long Island, the Long Island Retro Gaming Festival, which is amazing. And his Twitch chat, his Twitch stream is incredible. He's uh, doing music for a new game right now, and his streams are fantastic. And he's a super nice guy and a mega fanatic as well. What do you guys think? You know, I think it's time. Turk and One's been awesome, but uh, you know, I stream. I usually stream for about two and a half hours, so I think it's time to move on to Turk, Turk and Two. You want to see some Turk and Two? I just want to check the chat really quick, see if I missed something. Chris, do you find? Um, thank you for the hundred bits, Razor. You rock, dude. Oh wow, Chris says he's got over thirty-five tracks on his Patreon now, all royalty-free. That's really, really cool, Chris. Oh wow, you've been writing music to Rule of Thirds? I'd love to see that. Hear it. Of course, Chris, my pleasure. Chris, my streams, like I said, my streams are light, lighter on the gameplay, and they're more about bringing the Amiga community together. That's that's my uh, that's my specialty, I guess you would say. <laughs> so I need to, I always love to promote other people's other people's stuff, hype up other members of the Amiga community, you know? Because for me, Amiga, I love the Amiga. Don't get me wrong. I got this. Do I have my Amiga here? Can I? I haven't. There's. This, I I didn't dial in this uh, this camera. This is my Amiga 1200 here. I got the 1200 a1200 net case. Oh, I didn't put my video toaster. Boom, there we go. And I love the Amiga so much, but for me the Amiga is is all about the community. I got the games are great, I love creating art with it, but the people are the best part. That's why I love the user groups. And that's why I love these streams. Let's play some Turkin too. Sorry I'm like a little bit slow on the chat today because the, my freaking chat window is not working in the in the uh, <laughs> in the sub. Thank you, Chris. I'm glad. You, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you you like it. Supporting creators is very important these days. Just became a patron of mine. Oh, thank you, Chris. Chris, thank you so much. I'll send you some wallpaper. Oh, Dan, Optimus is right here, dude. Dude, o Optimus Prime is right here. He he's hanging out over here. I'll put him right here. <laughs> the chat is awesome. The chat's always awesome, DJ Ness. Though you know what I mean. Yeah, I can I can jump on the walkers in in the in uh Turk and two exactly. Yo, arcade AJD, how's it going, buddy? I hope you're doing well. You should, Dan. You should. And here's I got Voltron. I got Voltron. I've been uh, I've been cleaning out my parents' house, and I've got a lot of old toys that I've been uh, <laughs> digging, di literally digging out of their storage. <laughs> so I was there yesterday. So I got Voltron and Optimus Prime. That, that Voltron is really sweet. That Voltron is the one is the one with like the the lead paint from Taiwan that got banned in the U.S. Like I remember when I was a kid, they were just like, "Oh, you can't uh, like if you have the Voltron toy, you gotta take it back because the lead like causes cancer or something like that." And I'm like, "Dad, I don't want to take Voltron back." He's like, "We ain't taking that back. That's gonna send you to college, boy. Just don't lick it." I got a lot of good toys, oh, Ram. T2 and Walkers on that Robocop hilarious and loud. Um, I, Captain, Captain John, it feels great. The Real Heisenbear, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream, Real Heisenbear. We're playing Turrican today. I got Turrican 1 up on the screen right now. We're going to go Turrican 2. We're going Turrican 2 now. Yeah, I can, yeah, I got to roll around, exactly. JC Mitch, there's a ton of Amiga stuff going on in the UK. There's a group called Swag, the Southwest Amiga User Group. They meet. Again, everything's a little bit wonky right now because of the COVID. But Southwest Amiga User Group meets. I know there's probably one or two other Amiga User Groups there as well. But there's some like some Swag folks that are in this chat all the time. There is also going to be an Amiga 35 this year. Amiga 35 UK. Unfortunately, I don't think that one. Don't I think I think it's been postponed a year because of the COVID. I think it's going to be Amiga 36 now. But uh, 
that's going on. Yeah, the Amiga's alive and well in the UK. While while we're on the topic of um, <laughs> while we're on the topic of Patreon, uh, this is the July wallpaper for some of my patrons. They get it. This is my Amiga 500 motherboard. I uh, I did a whole lighting setup and set it up. This is a 16 color uh, Amiga IFF image. This is 640 by 256. I do all different resolutions depending on on what um, screen resolution you run. I also do a 16 by 9. So if you go, let's see, where's my desktop? If you want to use it like on your modern screen, like this is my PC backdrop, you can use it on that as well. I give you all different croppings. It's fun stuff. Oh, also, this is, you know, I'm going to save this for another stream, but check it out. So my buddy, as Talk Dog, he redid the glow icons for, for uh, Workbench 3.1.4 because they're designed for uh, high res screens, but I don't run in high res. I run uh, in just, I'm mean, sorry, interlaced. They're designed for interlaced workbench screens and I don't run interlace I just run high res non interlace because I think it's easier to read and I don't like the flicker so he resized them so they're all the right aspect ratio now check it out it's so cool it's correct aspect ratio finally my prefs doesn't look like a football <laughs> we'll go into this on the next stream it's pretty sweet I want to play some Turrican too now and I gotta check the chat you love Amiga Dad or I'm, I'm, I want to Amiga Dad's birthday is Wednesday I was thinking about doing a stream with them Pred says is Turrican's good Turrican 2 is awesome yeah um SR Baker switched to, T to T2, exactly. Oh, that's hilarious, Bunchorn. Someone, the Voltron, have you seen the new Voltron on Netflix? It's really good. You're welcome, JC Mitch. Yeah, look up Swag, Southwest Amiga User Group, and also Amiga 35 UK. Slayback, the icons are amazing. I'm going to do a whole thing. He just sent me a new icon pack right before the stream. So I want to, uh, again, kind of like with Chris, I want to make sure I give Aztec Dog proper I want to do it properly you know what I mean because I'm not finished doing all the icons yet but they look so sweet oh I want to show you <laughs> one more thing it's just but you know what's really cool check it out check out my compact flash icon he made this specifically for me this is my exact compact flash card that's in the machine right now it's a sand disk he even put the, like the Amiga Bill sticker on it because I, I label everything because I go to vintage computer festivals and I don't want to like lose anything so I put my name on everything so he literally made the compact flash icon exactly like I have it, <laughs> like my real one. It's so cool. As Talk Dog is the man. Turrican two. Here we go. Turn off this Amiga music, baby. Dave, hilarious, Dave. That's hilarious. What's up, Pixels at Dawn Gaming? Great to see you. What's up, Amiga Re Amigos Retro Gaming? I know, I don't even need to play, I just want to listen to the music. Wait, was it Turrican 2 where you can uh, select a different music, or is that 3? I can't remember. It must be 3. Oh, space is the music menu in the title, thanks Razor. I'll, I'll play for a minute and then we can, we'll go back. Uh, 
So, before the stream, when I was getting ready for the stream, I was playing a lot of uh, Turrican 1. Turrican 2, I literally haven't played in a very, very long time, so uh, <laughs> please bear with me. I could just listen to the music and hang out, you know what I mean? Yo, what's up, Scene Cat? Great to see you, my man. Oh, nice phenotype. You had, your, you had this blast in your car in the subway for a nice dude. Amigos, you wish you didn't suck at this game. <laughs> Amigos, is that you, Boat? Is that you, Boat? I love the, we, can, we can ball it up. It is really cool how they announced the the power ups. Yo, Sep Lemon Amiga, the cat the cat is much better, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, the cat's much better. My dad's hanging in there too. Uh, it's his birthday this week. I was thinking about doing I was thinking about doing uh, a stream on his birthday. We'll see we'll see if he's up for it. We got some really cool we got some cool new audio gear. We got a wire recorder. Actually, Chris, you might be interested in seeing that. My dad's got this wire recorder. It's like, you know, back in the day when you used to get arrested and they did question you, they would literally like record you on a, a thin wire. It almost looks like fishing wire. We picked up a wire recorder. My dad is an old uh, audio engineer. Um, and yeah, I'm, we're good. We're, you know, I've been staying away from all the craziness, Sep. So thanks, man. We're, we're, we're hanging in there. Yo, Melon ID, thank you so much for the follow. It is it is great to have you here. Thank you, Melon. Today we are playing at Turrican 1, Turrican 2, and Turrican 3. And we have uh, Chris Halsbeck, the composer, legendary composer to this iconic music in the chat with us right now. Chris, thanks for hanging out today. I didn't even realize you were coming. Oh, this is Aaron. What's up, Aaron? Great to see you, Aaron. Yo, Alexander Mejita, thank you so much for the sub, Alexander. And thank you for all support. You rock, dude. I'm sorry I missed your streams this weekend. It's really, man, I, I, just, I haven't been around. I'm really sorry. But yeah, go follow Human Interact on Twitch. Human Interact, uh, talk about quality streams. The streams are amazing. I've been on them. Alexander's streams are fantastic, and uh, his game is great too. Freaking, I we got a stream from Starship Commander, Alexander. That'll be a really fun one. I haven't done an Oculus Rift stream. Yo, Lazy Dev, thank you so much for the follow and welcome. I, I couldn't I can't do that service but I don't even know the TMFX editor. Yeah, Chris is here, Seth. I, I don't know if he's still here. He was here for a while. Um, it was unexpected. I'm gonna do a we're, I'm gonna do a, like a proper interview stream with Chris. I wasn't I didn't I wasn't expecting him to show up today. I was just like during the week I was talking to my buddy Juji Pella. He's like, dude, I'm loving the streams. He's like, dude, you just you should do two streams a week, you know, and do like new Amiga games one day, and then do classic Amiga games another day. Is that because I really want to see you play some more classic stuff? So I'm like, all right, I'll play some more classic stuff. I was like, I was like, what's classic that I really haven't played in a very long time, and I don't know that well? I'm like Turkin. So I was like, I'll play some Turkin. And then who shows up? But Chris Helsbeck. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. So I, I feel bad because like I don't I I don't know the games that well, you know. I do know I can turn to the ball now and. I mean, you can turn into the ball in Turrican 1 as well. I think you, but you have a limit to the number of balls you can <laughs> turn into. <laughs> There's a limit to them balls. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Not playing well. Chris is here. Right on, Chris. Thanks for hanging out, Chris, man. There's no, uh, no pressure to stay to the end of the stream either, dude. I just appreciate you being here. It's cool. But I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun with you here. Yeah, 360 that laser, exactly. What's rough, dude? Are you saying I don't have iframes? Is that what you're saying? I don't know, I don't know how to get iframes. <laughs> I don't think I think the streams look pretty solid though. There we go. Love it. Got an extra player. Hey, what's up, Steps? Great to see you, Steps. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm sorry, Surface. I don't know how to, I don't know it. Captain John, I think um, I think Razor XG gave him the heads up. I'm not sure. I love I love it, Dan. I love the boing ball. Now that you're a sub, 
Oh, what's up, Dancing Wolf? Thank you for so much for the animation. I played it before. Amiga News with Amiga Bill animation. I love it. So if you keep your hand on the space... So the button number two is basically the space bar in this game. I'm safe, but I'm, and I'm safe. I appreciate that, um, Dancing Wolf. We're good here. Yeah, Razor, Razor tipped them off. Oh, I see what you're saying, Alexander. God, I thought it was something with, I thought it was like a video setting on my stream that you were talking about. After I die, we'll um, we'll go back to the main screen and uh, and we'll go through different tunes. It's freaking, it's awesome. So like on the main screen, you can actually listen to all the different game, the game tunes. So if you if you're terrible at playing the game like I am, you can still enjoy the music. <laughs> it, you know, there's a delay. I love using the, the laser, like the special laser gun. But there's a delay. Oh, you know what is also great about Turrican 2 is uh, in Turrican 1, when you die, you lose all your weapon upgrades. But in Turrican 2, you still keep your weapon, which is so nice. What the heck is this? Wind. Love it. So much wind, SR Baker. Now I know what you're talking about. Ha ha ha! Turn into the ball. Let's go. Can I, I can't turn into the ball there. I can't ball it out there. May I go this way? Don't fight the wind, go with the wind. Uh oh. Remember, you know I love Conan the Barbarian? Krom laughs at your four winds. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of right now. Don't fight the wind. You can't beat nature, you know what I mean? No matter how tough you think you are, you can't beat nature. You gotta go with it. Just go with the flow. Sep says, oh, the weapon levels are down in grade one step when you die. Got it, Sep. Got it. Dome Dags. What's up, Dome Dags? A pity I love Apidia's music as well, Surface. It's really, really good. I know, Phenotype, it is weird that, that Turrican 3 didn't have the 360 weapon. Instead, you have, like, that grappling hook. Berserk mode. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thanks, Alexander. I'm glad you like the streams. You like the weekly streams? I, I've, I've been able to, being that I've been home for the COVID, I've been, um, I've been able to like work on the streams a little bit better, a little more, you know what I'm saying? I, I was thinking about some new layout designs too that I want to try out. Nice scene, Cat. Turrican 3 is based off the SNES version. Oh god, Sep. Sep, I was so sad because I realized that it was this morning. This morning I woke up in like a cold sweat. <laughs> because I, I remember I played, uh oh. Ball at, why can't I turn to the ball? What am I doing wrong? Um, Sep, I was, I played the spy who loved me last week and I forgot to enter my score in the compo. I was so sad. I woke up this morning and I was just like, no, I forgot to enter my score. It was all for nothing. <laughs> I forgot, maybe I'm just not turning into the ball correctly. Oh, I want to do more uh, light wave stuff, uh, Alexander, for sure. That was cheap. I did. I wanted to beat the, the enemy. I didn't want to like get through by dying. The bounce weapon is really really cool. No worries, Seth. <laughs> it's all good. It's not like I'm gonna win some competition anyway. The the most important thing is that it introduced me to that game, which is really cool. Uh oh. What I what happened there? Oh, my time went out. 
Da oh, it's down in space. Got it. So it's down in second button. Thank you. Thank you, Fred Seda. I was pressing down in the fire button, which I know drops the mine in Turrican 1. I, I don't know why. I'd My brain just farted. I think it's... You know, it's so funny. I think it's pretty... For most people, Turrican 2 is their favorite Turrican. But, um... Turrican 1 is fun, too. I, I really have fun with that. It seems like Turrican 2 is a little more refined, though. I lost my bounce. There we That's such a cool weapon. I, it's such a cool concept for a weapon. If I can get it going. I also like how um, in Turrican 2, like, the character turns with the weapon. In Turrican 1, it's just... The, kind of the weapon turns but without the character moving. It just feels so much better this way. Turrican 2 is definitely more, a little more refined, but Turrican 1 is still super fun. Power up. Down. There we go. Yeah, so... I love having the second button, so I don't have to press the space bar. I can just hit the second button. That's su super cool. I definitely, back in the day, I used to play. This was, this is my joystick. Hey! This is my joystick of choice back in the day. My, uh, my white go bat. It's got two buttons. You know, I bet this could be wired. It, it, it has two buttons, but you have to switch between the one on the top or the one on the base. And, um, I, I prefer, I bet you can rewire it so you can make it a two button joystick. I'm sure, I'm sure it's very possible, by those that know. The balls are, yeah, Pred say the balls are unlimited in Turrican 2, exactly. In Turrican 1, I think you start off with three balls. Hey, what's up, Penfold? Nice to see you, Penfold. I hope all is well. Sep prefers Turrican 1, there you go. Oh, you got your original Turrican 3 game, Razor? Nice, dude. I know, I know, SR Baker, I should have peed by now. I should have, but I didn't. What's up, Fury? Great to see you, Fury. P yeah, P-Pause is one. I haven't tried two yet. You can play Turkin 1 for the Commodore 64 multiple times, uh, Dadler. Hey, what's up, Dadler? Great to see you, man. I didn't know you were here. Dadler, were you there when Sainot got me the signed copy of Chris's CD? Yo, Niano Cat, thank you so much for the follow. If you are... Today we are playing Turkin 1, 2, and 3. If you're new to the stream, I'm Bill, and I stream here on Twitch once a week. I might go two times a week. We'll see. We'll see how things shape up the next couple weeks. Um, but I stream here once a week every Sunday on Twitch at 2 p.m. New York City time, and uh, I do. I'm a, an Amiga variety streamer. I like to do. Um, I like to do creative streams. I like to do. Whoa. One second. boss fight. Gotta look out for those still fights. Oh, I thought I was far enough away. Look out, here comes one. Is it, this is a cool battle. Uh oh, look out. Oh, jeez. Got me. There's one right above me. I'm spending a lot of time looking up. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Come on, auto-fire. <laughs> man, I, I really appreciate auto-fire now as, as an old man. <laughs> I can't reach him. I can't reach him with a good weapon. Here we go. Am I doing any damage to him? I don't hear anything. I bet I need to jump up. I bet I need to jump up to get him. There we go. Yeah, that was the problem. That was the problem. I 
I see his hitbox. I see your hitbox, big man. Shoot him in the head. Oh man. Alright, now now I got him figured out. Now I got you figured out. Look out for those falling suckers. No. Oh. I wish he had a health bar. Oh no, he got me. No! <laughs> yeah, on his face, exactly. I know, I know, I figured it out. Jump on the gun, then hold the button. Oh, Chris, that's a good idea. Oh, Hayes, you finished uh, You finished your game? That is awesome, dude. I, got, I can't wait to play it. I had three left, Kay Indiana. Oh man, I was hitting the button. I, oh, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. Oh, do I get the, is this the boss fight? Oh no, rats. I gotta start all over again. Wait, he hit me? We'll, we'll get this guy, guys. You know, it's amazing when you watch like World of Long Plays play this game, how like fast the, the player goes through it. I can jump on top of these guys now. Oh man. Wait a minute. I totally jumped on top of him. I need that power up bad. I'll get I'll, guys, I'll get I'll get the boss. I'll get the boss. That'd be like today's goal. Get the boss. This, I like this laser. This laser's got some oomph to it. You can't jump on the top of those guys? I thought you could. Penfold, you're never into, uh, you're into simulators, not shoot 'em ups. You know, it's funny, I was thinking about that before the stream. Like, what, I was thinking about classic Amiga games and like what my favorite classic Amiga games are. And I used to play a lot of sports games. I don't know if I like the bounce. Oh, I forgot that they can hurt me until I shoot it. Rats. Um, I used to play like a lot of Cinemaware stuff. I love Cinemaware games. I loved like TV sports football. I loved King of Chicago, Defender of the Crown, obviously. I loved, um, there we go. I loved, um, what else? Uh, lots, I loved even this, this Three Stooges. That was silly, but I liked it. Uh, so I, I used to play a lot of similar stuff. Of course, like Lemmings was a big one for me. Marble Madness was a good one. I loved the Amiga port of Marble Madness. Uh, the music is sounding so sweet right now, Chris. Oh, and remind me to play the music on the next time I go to the next time I lose. I think there's a, a, a one up over here. But yeah, I, and it's fine. I wasn't a big simulator guy, so I was getting at. I really enjoyed Populous though. Populous was a good one, and I also enjoyed uh, F16 Falcon. Man, I really could use the power up right now. It's not. Good. It doesn't make sense to get the extra life if, you, if it costs you a life getting it. <laughs> Wait, was it? Is it supposed to be here, or is it up here? There. Oh, there it goes. No. <laughs> no. Oh no. It was up there. Oh, Knights of the Sky and B-17. Knights of the Sky, I remember that one. Yeah, totally. Micropro stuff. It came from the desert, was great. Agree, Spongehorn. You learned a lot about aviation from Knights of the Sky Manual. Nice. What's up, Bobby Zeal? C 
Steam Cat, you're requesting Armageddon by Psygnosis. Didn't we play Armageddon recently? But Steam Cat, no problem. Steam Cat, can you drop it into the Discord because I'll forget. Oh, the Winter Games and Summer Games, they were good ones too. Red Baron, I, you know, I like the B7, what, no, uh, GB Air Rally. GB Air Rally was a simple game that I really liked. But F-16 Falcon and F-18 Interceptor were my favorites. The um, A-10 Tank Killer was pretty good too. So I guess I did like simulators. <laughs> I'll go get, I'll go try and get that power up. These guys are stressing me out. Oh, I can't shoot down there. Oh, look at that. Boom. That's cool. That's cool that I can't go all the way through, but it can go through enough to get the guy, you know? To get the enemy. Let's try and get that extra, extra life. I don't know any cheats for this one. I wonder if the WHG load has got cheats. Oh. Wings was excellent, Steam Cat. I agree. I don't know Red Baron. Yeah, A-10 was pretty cool. Uh, Falcon was my favorite sim, though. F-A-18 Interceptor and Falcon. I actually, um, for our high school video, our high school like yearbook video, I took the cockpit from F-A-18 to Interceptor, and I made this crazy video as if like you're in an F-18 like flying into the front door of the school. It was pretty rad. Because <laughs> it, was, it was just an IFF file with, a, with an alpha channel. It was really cool. This guy's stressing me out back there. <laughs> All right, where's that one up? There we go. We finally got the one up. Can I re get up there? Oh, man, I thought I got up there before. It's all right. We got the one up. I really just want to beat that boss. I want revenge. Oh, Gabora, Blue Max on the 64. Blue Max was really, really cool. Agreed. I liked Beachhead. Beachhead was another one of my favorites. My com favorite like Commodore 64 games. I love Beachhead. I love Skate or Die. And Blue Max was outstanding. I used to play Blue Max on my Atari 800 as well. How are Amiga Suns doing? Better than me. I should I should have done my my super there. Oh, Penfold. I know. I, I never made games, but I made videos. So I. Uh, <laughs> I, I I swiped I swiped that. I need some power ups. I need some power ups, Chris. Oh man, it, it's also interesting, right? So a lot of you have played Turrican, obviously way more than I have. But like, how much do you remember? Because sometimes, like, I picked up Another World, which is a game that I I used to beat. I used to be able to beat Another World, like relatively easily because I knew it inside now and I picked it up you know I forgot when it was I started I played it like a year ago or something and I, I forgot everything <laughs> forgot everything I was like man I used to be good at this game Krom laughs at your four wins I love how um, the airtime you get in this game I wonder if I can if I can beat that boss I wonder if I can get back to that boss. You know, it's so funny, I don't turn into the ball that frequently. I, I should utilize the ball more. Be the ball, Bill. Oh, I, I thought I had to go back down, but I'm back in the wind. I guess I'd have to go left. Man, it's so funny because I, I got there before and now I'm just like blanking like how did I get there? Did I go left here? Where the heck did I go? Where was I guys? Where was I? This is the end right here, right? This is the, the dead end. Oh, that's cool. The bouncy balls are cool. Where the heck did I go before? How'd I do it? You love the chevron gun? What's up, Amable Mystery? Great to see you. 
Amiga Suns haven't played Turrican yet. Um, they're not allowed to play that often. <laughs> um, Beach Head was really cool, DJ Vilnius. No, I was saying, how are they doing? Are they, are they enjoying the stream? Oh, they're in bed because of school tomorrow? It's good that they're back to school, Captain John. We don't go back to school here until September, maybe. Turrican 2 is your go-to game, Bobby Zeal. Embrace the ball. I should embrace the ball. Ha ha ha. Totally, totally. Oh, down the waterfall. That's where I went. Down the waterfall. That's what, exactly. Down the waterfall. Yeah, so, um, one Battle Pants. We're super lucky. The composer, the composer of this music is with us in chat today. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a whole stream with him. There it is. Now, to the left, I think there were some power-ups, if I'm not mistaken. Not worth the death, though. That was a bummer. Wait, I thought there was something there. Did I, did I miss it? Oh, I used one. Oh, yikes. That was, that was terrible, guys. Terrible. I used one of my bombs. And I... Oh, man, I became the ball with... I became the ball for nothing. Now, although it's unlimited, unlimited balls in this version. Oh, this guy, he wiped me out last time. Enjoy that bomb. This guy's angry. Got him. Last time we didn't kill him. What the heck was that? Why did I die? I ran out of time? Oh man. Oh, Frontier Elite too. That's a good one, Tenfold. Chris's music is amazing. Um, first of her shot. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name. <laughs> I mean, his music is one of the, the best parts about this game, even though the gameplay is fantastic. But I think people. The first thing people say when I mentioned Turrican is, oh, Turrican's amazing, love the music. You know, that's like, that's what everyone says. Even though the game itself is fantastic. I'm sorry I missed your streams this week, Maple Mystery and, and Dan. It, it was, it was a, a busy and stressful week for me, but things are, things are good now. I, for, I hate it when I forget what I did. Where's that boss at? See the some the delay on, on the on the P gun kills me sometimes. I think I went up this way. I'm trying to remember how to get to that boss. I'm going in. Let's see. I got. I only have two lives. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a tough boss battle if I make it there with two lives. <sighs> yeah, Haze. You know it, baby. Purple Haze. I, I gotta play your game, dude. Congrats on finishing your game. That's that's epic, dude. Oh man, that was terrible. Oh my god, no. No problem, Suspiria. Sorry if I if I'm if I'm uh, back on the chat. They don't like to go to school tomorrow. It, at least it's, things are getting better, you know. And you're going back to life. You like the gun because your your aim is terrible. The garden hose. It is like a garden hose, exactly. All right, here we go. I only have two lives, but at least I know how to fight this guy this time. They said to jump on his gun. That didn't work so well. <laughs> oh, I saw that one coming. I couldn't get out of there. Oh. 
I walked right into that freaking flag type. He's kicking my butt. I was doing better the last time. Chris had to jump on his gun. I, I'm nervous about that. I don't, oh man. I don't think that the bombs do anything to him. All right, come on, concentrate. It's settle down, big man. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, come on, baby. Look out for the. Man, of course I walk right into it. What's wrong with me? <sighs> I'm taking so many hits. Ah. Oh. Oh gosh. Yeah! Yes! Woo! Woo! I should have jumped on the gun. When he first comes up, jump on his gun right away and shoot his head. Oh, got you, got you. Locust, no worries, dude. Then next, do the soup. Oh, do the special when you're on the gun. Got it. What's up, Gabora? Thanks guys, that was awesome. <laughs> I did it the I did it the hard way, but better to do it that way than no way. That's fine. I'm so I'm so excited for beating him. I got I gotta pee real quick, guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. I'm so psyched. Um, so I so let's let's listen to the different music. I need to uh, I need to take a bathroom break really quick, uh, but I can set you guys up with some cool tunes. Was it Spacebar that lets you play the uh, the other music? There we go. Let's do. Um... Oh, but no, there's one. There's one we can actually play the music and listen like on the fly. Right. There we go. Please choose the song. This is cool. Alien Squeeze. Alien Squeeze, I like the sound of that. All right, enjoy the Alien Squeeze. I need to uh, use the boys' room. I'll be, I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh, I was trying to turn off my freaking camera. <laughs> Where am I there? I'll be right back serious business to take care of. Right. 
I'm back. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling like, um, what time is it? It is 4.12. So I can stream for like at least another, about another hour. So I'm going to, uh, but I feel like, I feel like playing some Turkin 3. And then we can go back and play whichever one you like the most. I don't know. Turkin 2 is amazing though. Turkin 2 title music is the best. Oh, you guys don't like the alien squeeze? Look behind you. Danger head. The final challenge. Oh, that's good. I picked the I picked the worst song. I don't think any of the music is bad, to be honest with you. Razor, yeah. Wife device and I are going on a on a picnic after the stream. This is really cool. You never knew those three turkins? Oh, Oram, awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we'll play that one for you. Oram, thank you for all the support, man. I appreciate you so much. Oram, by any chance... I, I've got three VIP patrons, and I know two of them, but one of them, I'm not sure who it is. I need to reach out to that person. Is that you? Every piece is excellent. I agree, Kandiana. Um... What's up, Retro Bench? Oh, Ultra Storm. Who made F Type? I'll find out for you. I'll send you a link. Let me just look over here. I'm just enjoying this music. I need to, I need to take a little gaming break anyway. It's intense, man. Turkin is intense. Let me see if I can find it for you. That's the wrong game. Um, I played a video before, and that's that's the wrong game. We can take a quick peek. After we do Kirk Turkin 3, we can take a look at this F-Type. It's just a work in progress. Um, let me see if I can find it real quick for you. I need a break anyway. I saw, um, it was, I believe it was, it's someone from... I'm not, I'm not even gonna say because I don't I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's find it. Let's find F type. The problem with Facebook is there's like I it's easy it's easy for me to like lose track of things. Um, where is that guy? Where that guy? Let's see if I can find it. Facebook I just get like so far behind on notifications and I miss important stuff. Where is he? I found that about through Facebook. Where is he? Where is he? I'm, I'm trying to find it. I don't know if I'll be able to. Give me one second here. Ah, Fabrizio Rad Radica. I'll show you in a second here. So this is where I found out about it. They t uh, Fabrizio Radica tagged me, and he's the admin of Retro Academy, Retro Games, and Retro Computers. This is where I found out about it. But I'm not sure, I don't know who else is working on it. If it's just him, or I don't know if it's his game, or he's working on it with someone, but this is this is where I'll drop, I'll, drop, I'll drop the link in the chat for you. I don't know if you're on Facebook or not. I can't freaking drop the link in the chat because my chat's broken. <laughs> Give me a chance. Did I just close my chat? Oh no, I didn't do that, did I? Close that, close that. There we go, there it is, okay, cool. There you go, it's that. Oh, Seth Lone Amiga just uh, defeated the robot by jumping on his gun and pelting him with a laser. Oh, sweet, sweet. Oh yeah, and Maple Mystery says this is the kind of music she'd, she'd, uh, she'd record on cassette tape and listen on her Walkman. Yeah, I want to do some of that Maple Mystery. Uh, I want to, I want to record it onto quarter quarter inch open reel or eight track. I just picked up an eight track recorder, so I want to use that. Gunlord? I don't know Gunlord DJ Nest. <laughs> Spooky Angels, good one, good point. It, that was pretty dramatic. Facebook notification search music. 
What they do later on Nintendo console, Locust? What's up, Locust? Great to see you. There's a Sega Genesis port of Shuriken that's branded as Universal Soldier. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't know how to pronounce your name, Shot. Um, B Swerve Shot. Sorry. So Ultra Storm, that's the link right there, dude. That's the proper link to the gameplay, DJ Ness. Nice, dude. All right, so let's try some Turrican 3. We'll do some Turrican 3, and then I'll play a quick game of um, of that of uh, F-Type. And then uh, and then I'll call it a stream. So I got about an hour left. Yo, Witchy Grub 101 thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. If you are joining the stream for the first time, I am Bill. I stream here once a week on Twitch. Sundays, 2 p.m. at New York City time. That's Eastern Standard Time or Daylight Time, depending on what time of year it is. So 2 p.m. New York City time. I do uh, classic Amiga games, new Amiga games, and I love having guests on my show and doing interviews with guests, whether they're artists or game designers or game developers or they have a new game out. It's, we have a blast. It's an Amiga variety stream. You also get the most amazing people in the Amiga community showing up in chat. I'm so lucky. They're all great friends of mine. Most of them know a lot more about Amiga than I do. <laughs> I'm just the enabler. <laughs> I also run the Westchester Amiga user group. We meet on the first Thursday of every month in White Plains, New York. And uh, my buddy Anthony and I have a YouTube channel called The Guru Meditation. And uh, we'll be doing a new video real soon. It's just been it's been hectic, man. Between WOG meetings and streams, it's, it's hard to... And editing for my real job, it's been uh, hard to make YouTube videos lately. But I'll, I'll be on it. Okay, Oram, no worries, dude. Yeah, it's 7 p.m. in England. It's 11 a.m. PS PST, got it. No, no worries, Chris. Wife, I know, I gotta take care of my wife device, too. We're going on a picnic, Chris. We're going on a picnic right after the stream. It's like beautiful weather in New York today. And, um, and we have a beautiful park on the Hudson River down the street from our house. And it's, um, it's, an, it's really nice. So after the stream, I like to get out into nature. Because I love computers so much. I love computers and tech. But I, getting out into nature is really, really important for me as well. So after every stream, we go out on a picnic. Yo, Sigurborn, five just offered five subscriptions to the community. Sigurborn, thank you, thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, Sigur. Oh, Rom, I don't know, I don't know why Anthony hasn't come to our. He only came to one virtual vlog meeting. He didn't come to the one this week. I don't, I don't know what's up with him. Sigurborn, thank you so much for the support, man. I, I appreciate you so much. So, Chris, I'm gonna play Turkin three now. Tar 74 likes Turkin 2 and Lionheart the best. Nice. Don't remove 8 track from the machine immediately or it'll wreck the system. Oh, got it. Thank you, uh. Pick, picking Dom Wars. Thank you. I, I used to have an 8 track. My first car was a Cadillac, a 1977 Cadillac. It was my grandfather's car that he handed down to me. And that had an 8 track player in it. And that was my only 8 track experience. My dad was a big audio guy. And my dad was not a fan of the 8 track. <laughs> I think I think Chris, it said Chris on Chris's Bandcamp. It says he's in Arizona, which is also very fun, sunny. Oh, <laughs> K Indiana, I'm on a cleanse right now. So I drank I drank an amazing smoothie this morning, and right now I'm just simple. I'm drinking uh, Pellegrino uh, Italian sparkling water, Italian sparkling mineral water. So nothing, nothing too crazy. I had an amazing smoothie this morning with spirulina in it. Oh my god, spirulina and mangoes. It was incredible. Oh, Ram, the, the, dude, that, the, the 77 Cadillac that I learned how to drive on, it was a boat. It literally was a huge boat. It was, a, it was huge. And I used to drive into New York City and I learned how to parallel park with that bad boy. So I'm ace, I'm ace with the parallel parking and the, <laughs> not ace with the 8-tracks, but that was my first, my first car, the 8-track in it. It's beautiful today, Chris, where you are. Nice, dude. It's beautiful here in New York, too. Ooh, Tara, that's a good point. Recently, Factor 5 started the acquisition, um, acquired Turk and rights back. Is there something we should know? I didn't, I didn't know that. Southern Arizona. Southern Arizona is usually hot, Locust. I love Arizona. I was I was in Arizona in the fall. No wait, I was in Arizona early. Oh, it seems it seems like a year ago, but it was back in January. <laughs> All right, Turk in three. Here we go. Moving right along. 
<laughs> Chris is not going to reveal anything right now. Understood. Understood. For now, we can still enjoy our Turrican, Turrican 2 and Turrican 3. So Turrican, the thing I love about Turrican 3 is I love, I love the intro. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking during the intro and we're going to check out the, the anime. Yeah, dude, I totally had the correct card for the city, Oram. <laughs> no one messed with me. <laughs> and, and I also, um, I also learned how to parallel park really well. Yo, Mad Pete, no worries, dude. Turrican is the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon, Mad Pete. I really appreciate that. Thank you for all your support, dude. Have, have a great rest of your night. Picnic Dom Wars. No, you know, Turrican is a classic Amiga game, and we played the first one uh, earlier in the stream. It is 30 years old. It's 30 years, it came out in 1990. Then the sequel, Turrican 2, is considered one of the best all-time Amiga games. And now we're going to play Turrican 3, the, the third Turrican game in the, in the trilogy. And uh, we're super lucky to have the composer of the Turrican music in the chat with us, uh, Chris Hulsbeck. He is uh, a legend in retro gaming community for creating the music to... I don't know how many, tons and tons of retro games, and he's also creating new music. We took a look at his Patreon earlier today and also his band camp. He creates royalty-free music over there, and he's creating music for new games as well, uh, uh, Amiga, and just retro gaming musician legend. You know, so it's an honor to have him here, and we'll, I'll get Chris on the stream one day, and we'll do a proper, inter a proper interview with him. <laughs> exactly, Brother Bill. I don't know. I don't know the, the Commodore 64 Maxi. I know the Mini. Oh, the new one. Yeah, that the new... I think they call it the Commodore 64, the new one. And uh, it's not available here in the USA. The intro to Turrican 3 is great. You weren't into Turrican, Jess Phillips. I got to tell you, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. If you like platformers, it's just... It's awesome. And even even if you're not into the game, it's worth playing just for the music. That's crazy because when I when I think of Turkin, when I say Turkin, people are like, "Oh yeah, Turkin, great game. The music's amazing." <laughs> it's always qualified. Yeah, Turkin is a great game. The music, though, oh man, it's amazing. <laughs> the, but to me, that makes a great game. When the gameplay is great and the music is great, then you got a winner. Chris Holzbeck is like Led Zeppelin or Vivaldi agreed tar.
amazing music, Chris. Amazing, dude. It's so it's so good. It, it it stands the test of time. It's just as good today as it was back then. Um, yo, what's up, Radio? Great to see you, dude. Um, yo, Velu Massa eighty one. Anachronic and JSR FFD2. Thank you so much for the follows. I appreciate that so, so very much. Ash, I agree, Ash. This is incredible music. <laughs> it is incredible music. Yo, Medigay Magnus, thank you so much for the subscription, Medigay. You are amazing. I appreciate your support so much. Thank you for subscribing. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the support. You wonder how. <laughs> Bren's chin is epic. Fred Zeta, I agree. I don't, you know, I wasn't really, I was listening to the music, I wasn't actually even reading the storyline. <laughs> you love the intros from this and Epidia as well? Yeah, dude, Epidia music is, I agree, Epidia is amazing, amazing. You could train on this music on your race bikes. JSR, totally, dude. Oh, that's uh, radio, totally. You ride bikes too, radio? I didn't realize that. I ride mountain bikes, that's awesome. You played Turk and 2's Desert Rocks to your sister and she found it too hectic. <laughs> Step, wait, Step, did you, was Turk and 2 your wedding song or was that Pred Seda? I think it was Pred Seda. You ride race bikes. Oh, got it, got it. Bike, like motor, motorcycle racing bikes. Whoops. Okay, so here's Turk and 3. Uh, you can still turn into the, oh, there's my, I used my bomb. Um, and Turrican, now here's the, the bummer about Turrican 3, is you have like a grappling, I mean, I, it's not a bummer, it's a little bit different, which is cool. Instead of the, the laser gun, you got the grappling hook, you know. Ash, Ash, no worries about the caps lock, like the music is that good. The music deserves the caps lock, you know what I mean? Uh, I keep doing the bomb, I, I was trying to turn into the ball. Oh, so it's not a motorcycle. It's uh, SPD pedals from Shimano. I've got Shimano SPDs on my Ibis. I've got an Ibis Mojo HD3. Um, you're back with a brew. Excellent, Penfold. What are you drinking? I can't wait. Next weekend, I'm going to be drinking beers again. I'm on a cleanse right now. What's up, Phenotype? Oh, you got a Vintage 70s Swin Street Bike? Nice, dude. I've got, um, yeah, I've, I ride mostly mountain bike, but I've got a pretty sweet Italian uh, road bike. It was, uh, I was super lucky. This guy, Antonio Mondonico, came to my local bike shop. He's an Italian frame builder. And like he like hand-built frames for uh, the different customers. So I've got like a, a custom-made Mondonico steel frame uh, road bike, which is sweet. But you know, uh, but my mountain biking is where it's at for me. Oh, a brew is a cup of tea. I thought you meant a brew as in like a beer. Yo, UK Thoroughbred, thank you for the follow. And Mr. Ca Mr. Cash, thank you so much for the new follows. And Callius 2020, I think, is that another, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, my, my, um, my, my software is not working correctly today. So my chat is a little bit off and my notifications are a little bit off. I apologize for that. But thank you for the new follows, uh, UK Thoroughbred and Mr. Cash. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love the sound effects when you pick up the, the Power of 2 Swerve Shop, totally. Push the joystick down and push fire. That's what I was, that's what I was doing. That's so weird. Now it worked, but before it was using my bomb. Oh, you know, I was pressing the button too. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Ultra Storm. Thank you. You're totally right. Jim Beam and Turrican. I love me some Jim Beam. Is that Command and Conquer Remaster Collection Penfold? I haven't bought it yet. No, dude, uh, JSR, I'm sorry, Radio. I, <laughs> the mountain bikes are so much fun, dude. I'm super lucky because we have, um, we have like so much, so many amazing trails like right out my front door. I don't even need a bike rack. Um, we have amazing mountain bike trails here in my town. It's a big, big bike community where I live, right up here outside New York City. I'm also, uh, I'm in the Westchester Mountain Bike Association. When I'm not doing Amiga stuff or filmmaking stuff, I'm riding my bike with my friends. Mount, it's so good. Like I said, I love Amiga and I love obviously computers and all that stuff so much, but 
After after a good stream, I like to get out into nature and uh, and reset. You know what I mean? I forgot if I was supposed to go that way. Oh, <laughs> I really blew that one. <laughs> that was that was that was that was a an embarrassing display. There we go. Hey, what's up, Amiga Mark? Great to see you. Yo, yo, um, Chris, dude, Chris, thank you so much for joining. It was really a pleasure to have you here, Chris. Uh, and thank you for being in chat and answering the questions. And uh, I'm definitely gonna go give you a uh, a sub on Patreon or become a patron, whatever you call it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some royalty-free music. That's super sweet, dude. And uh, thank you for taking the time to be here today. You spent a lot of time here, and I really appreciate your time. And Chris, we'll do a proper stream with you in the not too distant future, so I can be prepared for it, and we can have you on the stream, and it'll be it'll be a blast, dude. It'll be awesome. Thank you, Chris, for, and thank you for all the amazing music. Your music was great back then. It's still just as good today as it was back then, because it stands the test of time. It's amazing. Thank you, Chris. I, he is an Amiga legend, DJ Nest, exactly. I don't know that one, Penfold. I haven't downloaded it yet. You like the VH VHS cam, JSR? It's actually a real VHS camera. It's not a, it's not an effect. It's the real camera. <laughs> you know? Oh, okay, cool. Riding um, riding a mountain bike after riding a road bike is like cycling through. Oh, <laughs> that was hilarious, Jess Phillips. It's so funny because if I ride my, my road bike a lot, I get really scared. You know, I guess uh, I'll go on the mountain bike and I'll be all scared to do anything. <laughs> I forget how uh, how you can jump over logs and rocks really easily on the mountain bike. Oh my god. So that's like the next level down there, but I want to go up here. I want to see what's up here. Or should I, I'll just go down there for now, whatever. Oh, I missed the heart. Now, I think, from what I recall, Turrican 3 is easier than Turricans 1 and 2. I really do miss the, the laser gun, though. That, I mean, that is like quintessential Turrican, you know? It's cool that they changed it up a little bit, though. I mean, you got the laser in Turrican 1 and Turrican 2, so why not try something new? I respect for that. And I dig the I dig the opening to this a lot. He's this is tricky. You gotta shoot him. In. Damn, he takes a lot of hits. He takes a lot of hits. This caterpillar takes a lot of hits. There we go. Boom. Jack, yeah. I mean, I love uh, I love Jim Beam, but Jack Daniels, I, you know, Maker's Mark is my go-to. Maker's Mark is my everyday. <laughs> it's worth it. I, yeah, I don't know the original Penfold. Take care, Chris. Thank you so much again. Turrican 3 is more lenient, Bobby Zeal. Oh, Penfold, you can stream, you can stream awesome uh, Amiga stuff from the Pi. And it would be easy, easier because you would have the HDMI already there, you know what I mean? You don't like the alien level spread data? Same posture on the sprite, lean back and chill, exactly. Oh, there's a green laser in Turrican 3 now? Is that, is that a change? You're gonna have the 1200 recap before you uh, before you fire it up. It's probably a smart idea. Where are you at, Penfold? Because uh, Retrobench, who's he was in chat before, Retrobench.com is a super super good guy, and he does recapping services in the UK. But you can send it to him from wherever you are. He did he did this 1200. He did. 
you're in the UK, there we go, perfect. Go to uh, retrobench.com or you can talk to him right now if uh, if he's here, if he's still here. Oh, I died? <laughs> oh, the surround, the, yeah, I can do the surround laser. I, yeah, I meant the one where you, um, you can shoot and spin it around, that's the one I meant. Niano Cat makes a good point. You could stream directly from uh, from your PC. When when I emulate when I emulate the uh, Amiga on the PC, I use FSUAE, and I just do a screen capture or a window capture. That's a good point. But I do I do like having whatever I'm streaming as a separate device. That's an that's an ideal world world for me. But you can you can just stream it uh, right from uh, you know right from the desktop. How'd that happen? I my my uh my grappling hook came out for some reason. <laughs> nice, can, uh, Candy. I like how he put. They used to put alien heads and eggs and face huggers into the game, like from the movie Alien. It was like like it was the same universe as Ridley Scott's movie. Word. That's a good point. Alien. How awesome is Alien? And that game, that movie is so good. Do you ever play some Alien Isolation? That's a good one. That's one of my. I don't know if it's my favorite modern. No, one. It's one of my favorite modern games or not, but it's a good one. I enjoyed that one. It was nice and creepy. I played around Halloween time. I got a little aggressive there. I saw that it was just smoldering, and I just went for it without timing it out. Yeah, exactly, Ultra Storm. They, uh, they, Factor 5 dropped it to the plasma wire. I call it the grappling hook, sorry. It's also a lot more generous with the power ups. Oh, I'm out of time. It, the timer it stinks when you're trying to do a stream and talk to chat. <laughs> I understand it's good for the game mechanics, but when I'm trying to look over it and take some time to talk to you guys, the timer's kind of a bummer. Can't you see I'm streaming here, Turrican? <laughs> I never played the Terror. Oh, yeah, JT, Alien Isolation VR. I should do that. I've got I've got an Oculus Rift, and uh, I don't play, I don't use it enough. The problem with my Rift is it doesn't fit over my glasses well, so I, need, I think I need to get the new one. The new one is a little bit better for glasses, from what it looks like. But Alien Isolation in VR must be amazing. So for for those of you that don't know, Alien Isolation is like a um, oh my my brain stops working. <laughs> it's um it's a game. It's a uh, stealth stealth. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a stealth game where you're on a spaceship and trying to avoid the aliens, and it's like super scary and super awesome. Yeah, Bobby Zeal, you don't like the uh, the timer either. In levels one to you can find the first golden turkin suit. Oh, nice, dude. So, Spirit, that's a great question. Uh, what control do you use when streaming with an emulator? Rather fond of your original arcade joystick. You can use it, Suspiria. You can get, like, a... Let me show you. Can I pause? So check it out, man. When you pause, it turns off the music. That's a bummer. Um, oh, I'm using the wrong. I'm using the wrong preset too. Anyway, so let me show you. So you can use uh, something like this. This is uh, a nine-pin, you know, classic joystick to USB adapter. I know um, Monster Joysticks makes them. Uh, I got this one as a gift from my buddy Play Valley. Atari Age also makes them. Someone on Atari Age makes them. So this works great. So you can connect it to. Um, so if you got, I'm all tangled up here. 
I'm so tangled. Wow. That was a disaster. So like here's here's my white go bat. This is this is like my weapon of choice back in the day. I've got a lot of classic joysticks. You just take the the nine pin connector on the back, and you plug it in, and then you can plug the USB adapter into your PC or your Raspberry Pi, and you can use it with the emulator. That's the best way to do it. You can also. Um, you can also get a USB controller like this one. This is a Buffalo controller, an iBuffalo controller, and it's it's pretty close to the SNES controller. Not quite as good as the SNES controller, but it's pretty good. And it's already got a USB connector on it. If you're a big Competition Pro 2 fan, they have a USB version of it, but I don't like it at all. It's really, really not good. <laughs> so I don't mean to try to trash them, but it hurts my hand really badly. Let's see if I can get the chat back on the screen. Alien Isolation was bonkers. Agreed. Agreed. Suspiria. Agreed. Um, what did I miss in the chat? I, I hate it when it goes quiet. It bums me out. The Commodore 64 is amazing. I love the Commodore 64. I've yeah, I did. I saw um, I saw Michael's you know, Michael from Amitopia's video on the Warp 1260. I'm on the list. I can't wait to get it. USB to DV9 adapter. Exactly, Gabora. Exactly. Aw, oh, thank you, Penfold. I, I hope I hope that helped you, Penfold. So I guess you're in my Discord channel as well. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, Suspiria72, if you're in... Um, you can join my Discord channel there. Sorry for the cap locks. And you can also... Um, or just go to monsterjoysticks.com. I know they make them. And like I said, Atari Age has got one as well. You can also find them on eBay. You just grabbed FSUOE. Nice, dude. The Competition Pro, the original Competition Pro is amazing, Locust. But the new one, the new USB one, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, dude, the 64 rocks. I'm really excited because my birthday present to me is I got one of the, the retro tinks. Oh, it's on the way. And once I get my retro tink, I'm going to stream some 64 stuff. I think, Nyanocat, I think it's Speedlink. Yeah, I think it's the one made by Speedlink. It's not, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. Not a big fan of it. It hurts my hand. Like, after I play for a minute, my hand is just, like, really hurting. It's killing me with this OBS bug. I've never had this bug before where I couldn't see the chat. Oh, I'm going down, right? <laughs> Yeah, those the first time I, I jumped on one of those suckers and it squashed me. It squashed me up into this into the ceiling. Oh, I terrible timing there, Bill. Terrible timing. Yeah, I agree, Amiga Mark. Amiga Mark, I want one so bad. <laughs> it's my friend has got an old school blizzard. Oh. I, you know, I read the chat for two minutes and I forget how to play the game. I'm such a dumb dumb. <laughs> What's in the box? Oh, is it empty? Yikes. Oh, man. Oh, God, I'm falling apart, guys. RTG on this would be amazing on the same video port. That would be, that's incredible. I love it. Because having two monitors is kind of a bummer. Oh, it's Sponge, you have a USB Competition Pro too. That's a good. Oh, that's cool. Cause the the one I the one I have is is really, it hurts my hand. Like it's it's painful. <laughs> uh, I guess it's not the case for everyone. They, they must have tested it, but it was really bad. It's not looking good for your. Oh, your Apollo is sick. Mega Mark, that stinks. Four forty-seven. All right. So I'll do like I'll do like another round or two of Turrican three, and then we'll check out the new the F-type work in progress. The only thing the only thing about the F-type work in progress is that um, 
they're temporary graphics, but being that we talked about at the beginning of the stream, I'll play that for a minute. It's a very simple, right now it's, it's literally just a very early build of the game, but we'll take a look at it. And then and then I'll call the stream. I got I got to end the stream by uh like 5:15 my time. Picnic time. It's hard going on a picnic without having a beer. I got, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be happy, you know, that aspect of the cleanse has been bumming me out. But I'm feeling good on the cleanse. I'm feeling I'm feeling lean and mean. I'm not lean and mean, but I'm feeling it. <laughs> I forgot how I got up there. How did I get up there before? Where did I grapple up to? There it is. Extra dude. Excellent. Oh yeah, it was a troll box. Now I know you're talking about Purple Haze. Purple Haze, dude, I would love to, when I get my Commodore 64 um, going with the Retro Tank, I would love to stream your game. Got you, got you, Nyanocat, gotcha. Yeah, I know, Brother Bill. I, You know what it is? It's like, so our friends, uh, it's got an Amiga 1200 with a with an 060 in it. It's like a really sweet 1200, and uh, I want to I want to I keep telling him, brother Bill and I keep telling him to like, he's got to sell that 060, and I think Anthony put it in his head that he can get like rich off it. <laughs> so that's why I'm not getting it. <laughs> but I'm like, dude, the longer you wait, the less rich you're gonna get off of it because there's new stuff coming out now, and it's like. There's, you can definitely make an argument for for buying a new a new one instead because you know the caps on that blizzard board and the other pieces aren't getting any younger and even though the um, even though the uh, the warps you know use like already used 060s everything else is new so I you probably it's probably a safer bet to go with uh, with a warp you know so Rob, the value of Rob's card is going way down. Oh yeah, it could be it, sponge. It could be my hand hurts with that thing. I don't think so though. I think it's kind of universal, universally agreed that that stick is is not so great. Um, Tar seventy four. Is it? I'm not sure. I can't answer your question. It sounds. I didn't. I, I'm not sure. Whoa. I wouldn't be surprised. It kind of makes sense, Tar, but I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Oh, I missed. I want to go up there and check that out. That's interesting, Amiga Mark. I'm not sure. Well, they, they get the video feed out of the, um, out of like the, the, uh, what do you call it? Like the Indivision AGA board by putting it right on top. But I don't know if they can do the same with the audio chip with Paula. I don't think so. Oh, it's just diamonds up here. Or emeralds, they're green. <clears throat> Yeah, then everything would be inside the case. That would look that that, that like, that's a good point. Let me mark. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Ar Arcade AG Day, uh, J AJD? <laughs> I hope you're doing good, by the way. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be streaming until 5:15 uh, my time, which is in about 25 minutes from now. So there's there's about 25 30 minutes left in the stream. We're we're winding down, but. The weapon I had against this guy last time was better. I, you know, I thought it was better, but I beat him faster this time. That's interesting. That's true. You know, I think Anthony and Rob turned it on not too long ago, or before Anthony left for Florida. 
And uh, he had like a crazy screen mode. He had double NTSC mode, and they couldn't look at it because they didn't have a monitor. <laughs> No way, Dave. There's a modular replacement. I didn't know you could get component S video out at the same time. That's pretty rad. I I have um I have a cable that will get the S video out, but I didn't component, dude. I didn't know you could do component. I've got a component capture card. That would be sick. That would be awesome. I would love to have that. A black hole can solve any any problem by destroying anything. Exactly. When you when you have component out, do you have to like hack the 64 to do it? That's pretty rad. I was excited just about the S video. The black hole can fix the economy. The made the economy is a black hole. I <laughs> uh, can't get my bomb. All right, back up there. I didn't think I used the grappling hook before to get it. Come on. Off the grapple. Uh, this is actually a cool way to get these face suckers. Because when you're down there and you break the uh, the glass, it's easy to get uh, hit by them. Yo, Locust. Thank you for the sub, Locust. I appreciate that very, very much. I appreciate your support very much, Locust. Thank you. Thank you, sir. This homing missile's rad. I'm pretty psyched. I, I, I feel like this uh, Turrican trilogy stream went pretty well. I was really worried about it because, like I said, I don't know the games well. And I was really worried about being a complete boner. And I was, I was only half a boner. <laughs> it was awesome that Chris showed up. That was super cool. But I tell you, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna keep these games are great. I'm gonna keep playing them after the stream's done. Because these are these are games that are this is my kind of game. My kind of game. There we go. Open that up a little bit. You know, it's so funny. I don't use I don't I don't use the ball that much. I don't know, it's just my instincts don't use the ball that much. Oh yikes. I was down there. I, I couldn't. I couldn't escape that headshot. Oh, finally, I'm back here. <laughs> maybe, maybe pick Nate. Maybe pick a king, right? <laughs> Thanks, K Indiana. Oh, Gabora, thank you guys so much. Penfold, you can't get FSUA working. Um, you have to make sure the ROMs are in the right folder. That could be the problem. Also, another thing uh, with the emulators that I found is like the you know your Amiga configuration is super super important. Oh, I lost a dude. I didn't get there in time. Rats. Oh, boss fight. No, no, all oh, that's right is the part I'm gonna go down. Going down. Next stop, hell. The homing missile is ace right now. Oh my god. The homing missile is so good right now. Boom. Suspira, consider Switchblade 2 and Second Samurai. I never played Switchblade 2. Penfold. Yeah, Penfold, there's a lot a lot of things you can do. Penfold, are you using the ROMs from Amiga Forever or are you using other ROMs? It's okay if you're using other ROMs, I'm not gonna don't worry about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, are you using ROMs from Amiga Forever, or are you using ROMs that you imaged from your real Amiga? There you go. 
because it makes a difference. Yo, Dan. Dude, Dan. Um, oh, oh, I thought you were leaving, Dan. Thanks, Dan. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. I'm gonna finish this round of Turrican 3, and then we'll check out this this work in progress Amiga game, and then uh, and then I'll call it the stream. Then it's picnic time. Picnic time for Amiga Bill and wife device. FSUE is temperamental for you. For me, it goes either way. I, so there are some things on FSUE that work great for me, and not on as much on WinUAE. Again, it all comes down to the configuration. But for the most part, I mean, WinUAE is solid. But FSUE, is, I always reach for FSUE first. It's just a little bit easier to set up, you know? I mean, once it's set up, I just find it to be a little bit easier. Quicker, I should say. Because you can have, like, all the quick starts in WinUAE. But for some reason, I just grab FSUE. I don't know why. That was terrible. Why couldn't I kill that guy? Yeah, baby. Oh, that's got a nice sound. That gun sounds sick. Yes. This track is really great. Amiga Mark is a great question. I put my name on uh, ppa.pl. There was a thread. Uh, it's the Polish Amiga portal, and that's where I'm. That's the list that I'm on. They're not available yet, but I'm on I'm on the list at, on Polish Amiga Portal. PPA.pl. And I don't know. I, I wonder like how many orders they'll take because I wonder how many O60s they actually have. Oh, what the heck? I'm glad you guys like the stream today. Like, this was like the most classic gaming I've done on the stream in a long time. Um, I'll have to try, are you in my, my Discord? If you can drop those games into the Discord, I would uh, I would love to play them. Second Samurai, I've never played either. I'd, I'd love to. So for Amiga Forever, you need the ROM key in the same folder as your ROMs. That that's a trick. You need to uh, have the ROM key file in the same directory as the ROMs because the ROMs are uh, protected. I made that mistake once. So you make sure you have that ROM key file in the same directory as the ROM itself. Hey, what's up, Tim and Gilbert? You're loving the Turrican today? Nice. I love that there's three games. I, I like to play multiple games on stream. I, I don't think I could play like three hours of just one game. So I love the fact that there's three different turricans, so we can see the progression from one to the next, and it keeps it interesting for me. FSUA hates your competition for O-Sponge. Thanks for being here, Tim Gilbert. It's great to see you again, my man. Yeah, exactly. If you click FSUA logo in the top left corner of the window, you can click the arrow, and there's an option to import from Amiga Forever. Great, great point there, Brother Bill. Amiga Mark, thank you for the bits, dude. I appreciate that. That's really, really kind of you, Amiga Mark. Thank you, sir. It's great to see you here. Hazemaker dropping the Amiga love in the chat. Haze, I can't wait to play your game, dude. I, uh, I haven't played for a Samurai. It's one I need to do. Hurricane? I never played Hurricane. No, I haven't. I never beat XCOM either, Jess Phillips. Nope. Hurricane, it rings a bell. <laughs> Sponge, it's a joke. It's a joke that I do with AmigaLove.com. AmigaLove.com. I love that guy. He posted. He posted some uh, some joystick porn this week. <laughs> Hurricane was a remake for the PC. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. I'll, I'll try it. I'll, I'll try it, Purple Haze. C64 love. There you go. <laughs> uh, thank you, Amiga Mark. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it very, very much. Guys, next week's stream, next week's stream is going to be a bit, is going to be a doozy. 
if things go as planned, next week's stream is gonna be a real doozy. I don't want to say anything yet because I I haven't confirmed it 100% with the guest yet, but it's gonna be a really good one. No gaming, unfortunately. That's another reason why I wanted to do some games. Uh, next week is just an interview only if things if things go as planned. So stay tuned. I love that. I love that emoji steps. It's great. K Indiana, it's freaking sweet, dude. Aeros has a version of Hurricane that comes with it. Oh, nice, dude. Hurricane's a free Windows game. I'll have to check it out, Tar. <laughs> ASMR with Amiga Bill and Amiga Love. Hurricane's got new levels and nice controls. Nice. I sold my fall. Nah, dude, I love the 64. I love the 64, too. It's just my, my, time is, my time is limited, so I stick to what I know. <laughs> I really should play some more 64 stuff. I, I love it. And I'm gonna do uh, when I get the when I get the new um, which we call it there the retro tank. I'm gonna do Atari 8-bit streams as well. I might do like bonus ones during the week. Everyone says you should stream more, so maybe I'll do some like Commodore 64 Atari 8-bit bonus streams. At least that's the plan. Or, or maybe I'll be going back to work soon. Hopefully, <laughs> I know LA opens up next week. So where where do I need to go here? Can I get up there? Can I get up there? Where do I need to go? There we go. That's where we need to go. Uh, these enemies are cool. I like these guys. Oh no! <laughs> I didn't mean to turn into the ball, but you know, hey, I got some. I got some rubies. Why not? I mean, some emeralds. Oh, your first Factor 5 game was John Sisters on the 64. John Sisters is so good. Rats. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to get up there. Maybe I can just do it from here. That'll be easier, probably. Maybe not. Yeah, dude, Akmafin, I, I told you I really want to play Hayes' new game. I'm, I feel really bad. I, I haven't seen him stream any of the making of. I, I've been so busy lately, and I've been trying to like get my website up to date because, like I said, we might be going back to work soon, and uh, the Epstein film is kind of hot right now, so I want to strike the iron while it's hot. So I've been really concentrating on my website and stuff. Um, and I haven't been around for any YouTube videos or streams this week. How do I get out of here? But I, I really want to check out Hayes' game. I love Mario games, so that would be sweet. That would be a fun one to like, first one to, to stream. As long as I don't stream Atari SC stuff. Yo, Sep, I've got, when this whole social distancing uh, thing is over, me and Rec to Pete are going to do a tag team stream. So we'll do it on, here on my stream, and then he'll have his Atari ST out, and I'll have the Amiga out, and we'll do, we'll do like a head-to-head -head throwdown competition live on stream. It'll be great. <laughs> Hairdresser is in San Francisco opening on July 14th. That's cool, Locust. Uh, here in Connecticut, they opened. My friend is a hairdresser. And she, dude, she got dressed up. She looks like she's going like, like a SWAT team member. <laughs> you gotta see what they make her wear. It's insane. She's got like goggles and a face mask on and all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, how do I get out of here? I love the Gianna sisters as well, too. Bag of potatoes, you like the SD? The, the Falcon looks really nice. How do I get out of here? How did I get in here? There we go. Tricky, tricky. You wonder which one wins. <laughs> well, it's... it's the, the funny thing is, Wreck to Pete, he always says Amiga is better. But he, uh, he's got a lot of passion for the ST, so respect, respect to Wreck to... Oh, shoot. If you want to see a cool video about the ST, Recta Pete is on our is one of the newer Guru videos that we did. We showed Recta Pete's Atari ST exhibit at Vintage Computer Festival East. He's a super cool dude, man. Love that. I love Recta. Sep, Sep, you have no problems with the ST. Is Fred say that that hates it? Pete, yeah, I know. Pete, Pete already knows he's gonna lose, but it'll be fun beating him up. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pete. He's such a good dude. I'm almost out of time. Fred Seda, the, the cool thing for me is I don't 
I don't need to go to the hairdresser. I just do it. I shave it myself in the bathroom. Oh, nice. You fixed it, Penfold. Sweet. Dude, the Falcon, bag of potatoes, the Falcon is so valuable, too. It's a really cool machine, and, and it's really valuable. It's okay to say the Falcon's cool. I mean, th at the end of the day, like, Pete, Pete and I always joke with each other. We're like, the whole Amiga Atari thing, like, maybe that was funny back then. He's like, but really, like, we both lost. Like, we were just fighting to be, like, the best loser. <laughs> I, don't, I don't necessarily agree totally with the way Pete frames it, but it's, he's kind of right. He's like, it's like Mac and PC are the bad guys, right? <laughs> we got to team up. The little, the little guys got to team up and take on, and take on the, the big bad winners. <laughs> the Falcon's valuable and useless at the same time. Hilarious, Fred Zeta. All right. Cool, guys. So, yeah, 5 wait. Let's check out this new game real quick, and then, uh, and then I'll call the stream. This is called F-Type. And uh, let me, I'll pull up that Facebook page again. This is where I saw it. Can I get back there though? That's the question. Can I find that Facebook page again? Let's see if my browser history works for me. Oh, well, dude, Turrican, Turrican was great. I had a blast with the Turrican games. I think, th I think two may be my favorite, although one is a lot better than, one is definitely replayable. Um, history. I definitely don't want to show my browsing history on the stream. <laughs> Just kidding. Private mode. <laughs> uh, Retro Academy. There we go. So I saw this. This guy tagged me on Facebook. Fabrizio Radica. Fabrizio Radica in the Retro Academy Retro Games and Retro Computers F-Type Demo 0.1.2 for Amiga OCS ECS. Here's a download link. It makes some fixes. I didn't even know that there was. I didn't know this existed before, but I'm glad it made some fixes. And uh, the graphics and the music are grabbed from various games for testing the game routines. So this is uh, all the graphics and music that you see are uh, just for testing purposes. So let's check this sucker out. Check this sucker out. Oh, that closed the chat. Now there we are. We're good. Yeah, exactly. Amiga brought to you by guys that were once Atari. I'm with you, Akmafin. I love Atari 8-bit so much. Bag of Potatoes. Oh, interesting. You saw videos of what the 1200 can do and was totally blown away. Bag of Potatoes, were you an Atari ST guy? It's weird because like, I started I started with Atari 8-bit and then went from Atari 8-bit essentially to Amiga and I didn't know that I was following like RJ Michaels and uh, you know, uh, Joe, I'm sorry, Joe DeCure and you know, Jay Minor and those guys is footsteps. RJ came in with Amiga, but I don't think he did Atari 8-bit. Turricant. <laughs> the 1200 is, I think the 1200 is the best Amiga. That's my favorite Amiga. Even though like the 4000, I get it. If I give you think the 4000, it's probably the 4000 is like the most capable Amiga, but I just love the form factor of the 1200. I just, I love that PCMCA port. I just, I love the 1200. Yeah, Commodore screwed it up. Tar, if you um if you're into if you're into the demise of Commodore and all that stuff, make sure to tune in next week if things go as planned. That is true, Sponge. The way you can multitask, you could slide one screen down and reveal another. It does it does still blow my mind. Oh, got you, got you, uh, JC Mitch. You asked your father for uh, an Amiga for Christmas, but you got an Amstrad CPC. And then you end up getting your own Amiga. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome. I never. I didn't. I never used an Amstrad until until I got into retro computing. We didn't really have them here in the states. <clears throat> you went from Commodore 64, a four megabyte version of the 64. Wow. And then you went to Pentium 2. Got it. Dan, you like the the 1000? I can't argue with that, Dan, because the 1000 is the original and it's a still super sweet machine. Ah. K Indiana is asking about the Polish beer that I drank. So, the most popular Polish beer is called Zivietz. It's like Z Y I E C. Some I think it's delicious beer. I think it's awesome. It was kind of like their Budweiser. So some of the Poles are like, ah, it's just the mainstream stuff. But I think it's really good. Zivietz will be the easiest one to find. And it has two traditional Polish dan Polish dancers on the front of it. Uh, so Zivietz is great. But I really love Varka Strong. W A R K A Strong. It's got a lot of flavor, a lot of taste, and a lot of punch. I love it. So between Zivietz and Varka Strong, you'll be good. There's lots of other great Polish beers as well, but I think Zivietz will be your best chance of getting. Whoa, Juji Pella. <laughs> Juji, my man. Oh my God. Juji, thank you for the raid. Oh, wow. That is amazing. I was, 
<laughs> Juji, I was just going to be wrapping up the stream soon. And then you gave me this epic raid. Thank you, Juji Pella. You are absolutely incredible, Juji. And I was talking about what you said, how you want to see some more classic games. So today I played all three Turkin games, Turkin 1, 2, and 3. I'll tell you what I'll do. I was about to play this new Amiga game, but since you gave me the raid, I'm going to fire up Turkin 2 again because it's one of the all-time Amiga classic games. And you just gave me that enormous raid, Juji Pella. Thank you. I'm giving you biceps, Juji Pella and all Juji Pella viewers. Here's some biceps for you. Juji is uh, it's amazing. I love Twitch because I got to meet so many amazing people. And Juji is like one of my, my best Twitch friends. I love that guy. Uh, so welcome. Welcome, Raiders. I'm Bill. I stream Amiga stuff once a week here on Twitch. I stream every Sunday at 2 p.m. New York City time. That is 6 p.m. UTC. And uh, I usually stream, I stream classic Amiga games, I stream new Amiga games, I do Amiga news, and I love to have special guests on and do interviews with them, as well as, uh, you know, guests who make new games, uh, guests who make artwork for the computer. So it's, the Amiga is thriving these days, and it's super cool. Uh, the community is incredible, and I have this amazing community that follows me here and comes into the chat, and I'm super, super lucky and thankful for everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up one of the all-time classic Amiga games, Turkin 2 right now and I'll play it for you guys for like 15 minutes and then unfortunately I have to call the stream because I'm going on a picnic with wife device <laughs> which is awesome we have these awesome post stream picnics which which I love thank you so much for the raid Juji I appreciate that and oh my gosh thank you for all these follows this is amazing it's Juji Pella did the raid brother Bill can you shout out Juji Pella I'm gonna I'm gonna read all the follows in a second. You got a 500, nice, 5 peso, nice dude. So we were super lucky. Chris Halsbeck, who did the music to all the Turrican games as well as many other classic retro games, was in the chat with us today. And um, I'm going to have him on as a guest in the not too distant future. He's a legend and his music is fantastic. We'll play a little Turrican too now. Sorry, sorry to change plans there, guys, but I, out of respect for the amazing raid of Juji Pella and all his viewers, I want to at least play like one of the all time classics, you know? Thank you for all the follows. I'm going to read you guys out in one second. Thank you all, Juji Pella Raiders. Welcome to the stream. Juji, thank you so much, and thank you all for the follows. That's super, super awesome of you. I'm so psyched. I'm, I'm beat. I've been playing really hard this stream, Juji. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't usually play this hard. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid, my man. You're the best. Yeah, Alexander. Dude, it is kicking my butt. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's, ki it's kicking my butt in a good way, though. So, Turkin 2, uh, Turkin 1, the, oh, yikes. The original Turkin game came out 30 years ago. It came out in 1990. And, um, and this is the sequel, which came out in 1991. And this is considered one of the best Amiga games of all time. No problem. I will, I will tell her. I'll tell her. Yeah, I should know how to beat this level. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for all the follows. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I'm not calling you out right now. I want to give you some gameplay. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's following me very much. I appreciate all Juji's uh, followers. Thank you guys so much. Juji, thank you for the raid, my man. Juji, I love following you on Instagram, too. I have a blast. I love the Insta. Oh, man. 
Of course I'm getting wrecked already. Oh my god, I'm getting wrecked. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I'm too excited about the raid. I'm too excited about the raids. Uh, to be honest, I'm not good at the game anyway. <laughs> oh, thanks. Alexander, can you screenshot that for me? <laughs> That'd be amazing if you could screenshot that for me, Alexander. Thank you. I don't really get into stuff like that, but that's kind of cool. Oh no, so I got the bounce shot. This game is really rad. You can turn yourself into a ball. You can, uh, you got these bounce shots. Uh, Juji, I know, I know you know Kurt Turrican. And the, the soundtrack to this game by Chris Holzbeck is just legendary. Like what I was, we were saying is, uh, people say, oh yeah, Turrican 2, that was a, man, I'm getting wiped out. Turrican 2, that's a great game, but the music is amazing. Yeah, crit, uh, Juji, when I get in trouble, I can hit the second button. Oh, Tar, you used to love looking up for all those, the bonuses, yeah. When I get in trouble, I should hit the second... I have it programmed so the second button is spacebar, but you're totally right, Juji. I should do that. Obviously, you know the game, Juji. It's so funny, because today on the stream, I was saying to... I'm getting wiped out. I was saying to everyone that... Um, I don't. I really didn't... Never played this game that much back in the day. It wasn't like one of my go-tos. There we go. Wipe them out. Wipe them out, Juji. There we go. I want. I want to beat the boss again. I beat the first boss today on stream. That was fun. We played all three Turrican games today. There's three of them. It's a trilogy. Turrican one, two, and three. And we played them all today. It was great. They're super fun games, and they hold up. They st they stand the test of time. You know. I love this laser. It's the best weapon. And unfortunately, they took away the laser in uh in Turrican three. They replaced it with a grappling hook. Which is cool, you know, they they had, they had the laser in Turrican 1 and 2, so it's cool they tried something new, but I missed the laser. Bobby Zeal. Yeah, no, I should try that technique, Bobby Zeal, exactly. There's a technique to beat the boss. Where's that one up? Where's that? I know there's a... Where's that one up? Did I miss the one up? I came all the way up. There he is. Okay, there you go. Yeah, jump up. It's, you know what's so funny, I was just playing Turrican 3 and they have a grappling hook, and I, was, I went to use the grappling hook to get up onto that platform. <laughs> you have to jump up in order to activate the, the extra life. Got it, Bobby Zeal. I'm trying to think, in World of Long Plays on YouTube, the way he does it, I, I feel like by this time he's already got like 20 lives. I gotta, I gotta watch that video again. The guy who plays it on World of Long Plays is amazing. He's an amazing player. He just like... Eight minutes into the game, he's already on like a level four. It's incredible. <laughs> it's really stunning. I think these guys just keep spawning. Uh, man, I, guys, I'm sorry. I'm playing really, really poorly right now. I need some I need some help badly. I didn't turn myself into the ball yet. I already used my bombs, so unfortunately when I get to the boss it's gonna make it a little bit trickier. But I don't think I used the bombs much on the, when I beat him last time. You managed to complete the game with 40 something lives? That's crazy. Can I destroy the nest? That's a good point. I, I think they just spawn and you can't destroy the nest, but I'm, I'm not sure, uh, DW Berman. You beat the game on the 64 when you're eight years old without using continue? Wow. Wow, Masi. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, five card. I never, um, you use the trainers just to get through. That's the, that's the problem with trainers. I, I used a couple of trainers when I was a kid too, and you really you lose out on the on the game. Whoops! Oh no! Oh no! 
I don't know why my dude went. Oh my god, that was terrible, guys. The game's bugged out. We're bugged out. We are bugged out. There we go. Oh man, one life left? That's terrible. Oh man. I don't know what happened there. It, I couldn't, uh, it just automatically like, went all the way down. That was brutal. Oh, there's a there's a hive. Got it, kind of Indiana, got it. I'm really bummed because I was in a good place there, guys. I was in a good place and then uh, I got wiped out. I don't know what happened there. There was like a little glitch, the way it was spawning me. Got him. I know, DJ Ness, that stunk. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I may, I sh I'm thinking about just wiping. I don't know if I'm even gonna make it to the boss. With this... Thanks, Captain John. And thank you, thanks Juji Pella for the raid, and thanks Juji Pella Raiders for following me and hanging out today. It's a pleasure to have you here, and it's a pleasure to have all the folks who would come here every Sunday as well. I, that's the main reason why I keep streaming, is because of all you guys, and I, I appreciate it so much. My god, I even forgot where to go now. Of course, I, of course, I play like crap, right? When everyone shows up. <laughs> not that I played great before. Not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend like I played all great before, but better than I am now. I, I, I can, I'll try it one more time. Yo, SR Baker, nice SR Baker, my pleasure. SR Baker, thank you so much for your support, dude. You are incredible, SR Baker. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon and everywhere, and you're amazing. And there's stickers coming to you soon. I sent them this week. I sent out a bunch of stickers this week. I'm gonna try one more time. One more time. Steps. How many Amiga monitors do I have? I, I, I don't know, to be honest with you. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> I've got a lot of Amiga monitors. What time is it? 5.25? The problem, the problem is... Um, the, the problem is, guys, I'm meeting friends for this picnic, so that's why I'm a little bit stressed out. Let me just, um, I, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to stream much longer because I forgot we're meeting friends for the picnic and I don't want to, I don't want to be a jerk to them. I don't want to like be late, you know what I mean? We're meeting another couple and I don't, I don't want to be a jerk. Oh, thank you, Dave Velociraptor. You know, what, you know, what, guys. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to wrap the stream up just because, uh, like I said, my wife and I are meeting some other friends for for a picnic, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be too late. <laughs> as much as I want to keep playing and play it well and be the first boss for all GG Pellets viewers, um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to cut the stream early. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, Indiana, thank you for hanging out with me. You guys are coming back. Oh, thank you, thank you for coming back, Rick. And Juji Pella viewers, let's see. Happy wife, happy life. You know it, Alexander Mejita. You know it. That's that's a wise man right there. So, um, Kofinus95, uh, Captain Pugwash, Kid M4N, Blattero, Craig SMYE, Hans Derry, Five Pezzo, Ramsus, Lipus, Miku. Dermeister84, Nakishi, I'm sorry, I'm I'm destroying your names. I'm, I'm really bad. They call me Silly Billy for a reason. Uh, Sad and Peemies, Ranky, Bag of Potatoes, New York Ranger fan. I'll call you NYR since you got NYR. I'll call you I'll call you New York Ranger fan. <laughs> Colin L, thank you for the follow. Um, the Stuvahana. Alt, thank you. Veltsu, thank you. 
Ran, thank you. Rakuvi, thank you for the follow. Wow, thank you guys so much. Rage Gamer Guy, thank you for the follow. Viodi, Sulky, Janet, thank you for the follow. Follow. Joku, thank you for the follow. Hottest TYTV, Samus Cog, Brucia. Wow, thank you guys so much. Samuel, Hank4, Sistu, and Juji Pella, thank you so much for, for the host and the follow. I appreciate it. What's up, Fabrizio Dota? Captain John, it was a pleasure. Yeah, we were super lucky to have Chris in the stream with us today. Thank you everyone for hanging out today. Let me see which one of my friends are streaming and we'll... I think Ash is streaming. If Ash is streaming, I promise her a raid. We'll give Ash a raid. Thank you everyone for hanging out. What's up, Fabrizio? Steps, you're welcome, dude. You're welcome, Steps. Thank you for hanging out, dude. Hank, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. So guys, I'm going to stream again next week, uh, Sunday, 2 p.m., and I think I'm going to have a very special guest on. I'm not 100% sure. It's not confirmed yet, but I think it's going to be a really special guest. So be sure to tune in next week. By Juji Pell's advice, I was thinking about doing some, some more streams during the week as well. Uh, so I've thought about maybe doing a Wednesday stream with Amiga Dad, but um, I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, Ash is streaming. I haven't I haven't streamed Ash in a long time, so I'm gonna we'll 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 raid Ash. My my chat also wasn't working today in OBS for some reason, which is really hard, but I tried it. Game too late. Take care, dude. Thank you. You're looking forward to next week. Thank you. Thanks, Sinlao. Great to see you. Sponge, my pleasure, my dude. Suspiria, thank you for hanging out. All right, everyone. So I hope to see you next week. If you want to follow me on social media, those are my social media links. And um, I usually announce my streams 24 hours in advance. But, you know, I'll, I'll be around on Sunday. And you can follow me on social media and keep up with me during the week. I post all kinds of Amiga stuff throughout the week. It's a lot of fun. Juji Pella, thank you so much for the raid, dude. Thank you, thank you, Steph Lemon Amiga. Maya, what's up, Maya? Great to see you. Well, I hope your headache gets better. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out today. It's been an absolute pleasure. We're going to raid Ash. We're gonna, first, we're going to take it to the hot tub, then we're going to raid Ash, and then I'm going to go on a picnic. Again, thanks, everyone, for hanging out. It was an absolute pleasure. Be well. Have a great week. Stay safe, everyone, and Amiga forever. Peace. Let's see if I can find Juji's thing. There we go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>